Well, hey everybody, it's your good old pal of the hero, and tonight we're gonna play an especially spooky, scary video game made for uh, not just filthy, slutty adopted daughters like Heather, but for big strong men like you and myself. I assume you're you're big strong men. It can't just be me, right? Now, um, I am noticing, because I alt-tabbed in and out, it's kind of glitching out. Let me restart the- And I'll, uh, adjust all that stuff in-game, okay? I did a lot of finagling and tweaking to get this game to work this morning. It should be fine. I think it crashed just then because I alt-tabbed out to start the stream. In fact, the uh, the scariest thing <laughs> about this game may be uh, getting it to work. We'll see. You guys are thinking it's a little loud? Okay, I'll turn the desktop audio down just a little bit. It's so loud my ears are bleeding. Oh no, that's that's your anus. It's a little different. Is that why <laughs> I always hear bullshit? <laughs> and then somebody put their dick in your ear to fuck what you heard? Ha. Ha, that's and then you got you got hearing aids. Ah! Okay. All right, guys. The game seems to be working fine. I'll lower the volume just a little bit. Let me know later on if it's too quiet, and I'll put it back up. I actually tried playing this, but there was a issue when I was starting the game where it was like. Uh, the main character was like transparent. I don't know why, but it, it just kind of fucked with everything and I accidentally fell down a hole like the first fucking room. You might have had, um, you might have pushed F1 by mistake. I'll show you when the game starts. It, it makes her, um, her and certain wall effects disappear. Oh, okay. But by the way, guys, this is Cuddly Sebastian joining us tonight. Say hello to the people. Hello, people. Okay. Uh, this is a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1, a game we played a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I probably should have played Silent Hill 2, but that game takes a little bit more work to get up and running than this one did. Isn't, um, you know, I was kind of wondering, it, why would they, why don't they have this Silent Hill 2? Why didn't they have, like, Silent Hill 2 be, like, a, a Gaiden and this one be Silent Hill 2? Well, it was a Gaiden. It was, it's originally envisioned as, uh, just one game, and then as an anthology, and then they said, you know what, what happens with, with, uh, Alessa? when she grows up. One is directly followed by three, two is tangentially followed by four, and the rest of them are completely unrelated except for zero, which kind of takes place before one. Oh, okay. I mean, like, I think after, like, either three or maybe pushing it, like, four, like, the rest of them can go fuck themselves, I think. Yeah, at four, I, I like it, but I get why people don't like it. It's a really difficult game. And uh, Homecoming was like the first Western one, and the quality took a big dive, even I, more than it did with four. I don't want to talk about Homecoming. Uh, that's the one that was on the uh, PS3 and had like, a, it was like raining or something. No, that's Downpour. Oh, Downpour is a piece of shit though. Oh my god, I, after a point I just stopped playing it because I just got sick of uh, the, the frame drops and everything going wrong with it. It was just bad. Okay, guys, uh, one thing to keep in mind in this game is that Heather is a filthy thought, and therefore everything wants to push her down and sniff her pussy. But we're not going to let that happen, because she's our girl. We're going to keep her safe. Okay? Oh, I did just go the wrong way. I might get hit. Don't hit me, don't hit me, you piece of shit. Nope. Is it just me, or is this game running slower than I thought it would? Uh, it, it kind of ebbs and flows. I am using an unofficial patch to make it even function. Yeah, how the fucking Konami can't make a good P a PC port of uh, Silent Hill that doesn't, like, shit itself? Well, they made- these were originally pretty good ports, but they're made for, like, Windows 98 and 2000. Or maybe not 98, but definitely, uh, XP. Hmm. Like, it just shows how active the fan base is that people even got these to work. Yeah, you got a point there. I mean, you'd think they would just, like, re-release it on Steam or something. Unless they have, in which case, 
No, they haven't. Oh, you guys want me to turn up Sebastian? Okay, hold on a second. Let me do a quick save, which is something I love from this version. You can actually do that. In case the game wants to uh, freeze on me as I do it. Actually, instead of turning him up, let me turn the whole shebang up. Well, that's because I had desktop audio turned down. Oh. I just make the game even quieter. Hopefully, we didn't just freeze him. Oh, no, Heather's not actually a uh, thought. I'm just joking. She's actually a good girl. This just happens to be an extremely loud and obnoxious area with all the enemies running around. It'll get quieter in a second, okay? Now this is a very dangerous section for Heather because she's a 16 year old girl on train tracks and everybody wants to run a train on her. She might get hit from behind. The fuck was that? Oh, I need to be careful. Um, I think I'm on hard and you can fall right off of these if you're not. Here comes the coal train. Oh, you're saying she got blacked? What did... Well, yeah, it looks like it. And how fucking strung out do you have to be to fall asleep at a, a diner in a mall? <laughs> in the middle of the day? <laughs> oh, that wasn't even the game? She just, she was sleeping in a fucking diner? It was all a dream. Like that TV show Dallas. She's, she's gonna get out of the shower and Harry's not gonna have been murdered. He'll be fine. It was all a dream. What a nightmare. Pretty much uh, all the Sanho games begin with the protagonist waking up from a dream. All the good ones. I guess that makes sense. Uh, EL, the closest to Silent Hill, the movie, the game, is the remake of the first game called Shattered Memories for the Wii. And the less said about that, the better. Oh, sorry, video games. I had to delete all my saves to get the game to run, so no Naked Douglas. For those who don't know, if you beat the game, you uh, start a new one, put in the Konami code, and this guy who's about to show up, he's in his underpants the whole game. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. No, and it makes it that much creepier. That's funny. And nobody mentions it. He's just... He's cool with it, she's cool with it. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to... Yes, TCS. Okay. Take it all off, you filthy slut! <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. We have... We're not even, like, what? Ten minutes in the game and already everyone's stripping. I can't be the only one, right? Milady? Have you noticed my fedora? Oh, I'll put the subtitles you know, on I'm after this. Uh, I'm waiting for people to put, like, to make, like, one of those porns from, like, Brazzers or something. Nice where it's just, like, this this guy goes m'lady. He has, like, no clothes on other than, like, a fucking fedora. He's, Hold like, on. fat as fuck. I'll tip my fedora, then the tip of my penis. Whoa! No half an hour of your time. <sighs> my daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. Yeah, boner man. They didn't. They didn't even try to get this lady back to voice Heather, for the, the you know the HD port, which was a complete embarrassment. They could seriously just take this PC version, make the fan-made patch official, and sell it on Steam for twenty bucks. Put it on sale for ten. They'd make a hundred thousand dollars overnight. Do I have to scream? But that would involve Sorry. Konami not fucking things up. Yeah, they'd have to figure out how to make, get people to go to pachinko machines by doing that, for them to go go along with it. Oh, yeah. Alright, for some reason I didn't have subtitles, and they should have been on. Okay. Now if you can't hear them so well, you'll at least know what the fuck you're talking about. 
Oh, here's another big problem. I don't have a save file, so she's not gonna do the thing where she tries to reach into the toilet like James did in Silent Hill 2. You know, James has a weird, uh, weird habit of putting his hands in you know, holes all the time. Oh, that's why Mary got so sick. He'd put his fist in the toilet, then in her stanky pussy. He's just, like, fisting holes, like, the entire fucking game, and then he gets scared, like, halfway through. Uh, video games, uh, I would rate her, uh, a cheesesteak with a pube on it out of ten. Make of that what you will. Now, see, this sucks if I had my save file, there'd be a submachine gun right there. Yeah, but that's just cheap. Uh, this is, this one hallway is, like, the worst looking part of the game. It looks so bad. I don't know why it looks so terrible. It's probably just like the fog rendering or something. Yeah, yeah I think the... the I think the grain's turned off. <laughs> Where's my noise filter? Why is that off? Uh, probably because the patch. The uh, patch, if I remember correctly, removes the uh, noise filter because the noise filter on PC looks like absolute trash. No, it, it's, it's toggled is on. Although I think I kind of remember having to turn it off to review the game for whatever reason, because it was fucking things up. Yeah. It's toggled is on, but it's definitely off. Okay, so recap of the game. Uh, some dumb blonde fell asleep at the mall in her basket of fries, and now some guy in his underpants is chasing her. And I don't have the camera reset and reset button hooked up, so it's really screwing me over. Where's what's my free look button? I thought I worked this out before the stream. Sorry, guys. One of those TPS kind of things. That would have been that would have been perfect for something like this on PC with a mouse. But no, you actually have to use a fucking controller with this game, otherwise, like, you're just sitting there going, well, I can't figure shit out, like, at all. Yeah, I'm kind of remembering now, the last time I played this, I had to, like, put four different functions onto one button. Okay, now I can recenter my camera, but I can't strafe anymore. So there goes, that's a little trade-off. Damn, this game is broken. We should my, pro you probably get better quality just fucking uh, emulating it on PC on uh on the PCSX2 or something. Yeah, but then I couldn't actually stream it. I did a test stream yesterday morning trying to get Fatal Frame up and running on stream, and the game emulated fine. It looked great, no slowdown, but on stream it was like one FPS. X. Yeah, because uh, when you're doing emulation, you're using a lot more processing power to emulate rather than, you know, just using a capture card or through native. Yeah, I think once I get my uh, new CPU and stuff after Black Friday, we'll be able to emulate stuff. Black Friday? What are you, racist? Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What, you can't, you can't get, you can't go like White Friday? It's okay, hashtag it's okay to be white. Okay. Oh, by the way, we're gonna shoot this cervix spaghetti yo face thing, because, um, he wants to hold us down and sniff her pussy. And I don't blame him. Get the hell away from me! His head looks like a spaghetti yo and she smells like that. That looks more like a penis than a cervix. Well, you might want to talk to your psychologist about that, Sebastian. Okay. Now, in a, in a modern game, there'd be a quick time event right there. Yeah, I guess yeah, the, the closer's like, got like a, a big ass. Time. What was that? In, uh, doesn't Resident Evil 4 the have like a bunch of quick time events though? But it's like really, but it's about the same age as Silent Hill 3. Uh, Silent Hill 3 is a little bit older, I think. This is 2003, I think. Um, RE4 was 2005. But it does have an ass load of quick time events, and I hate them. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's trash. By the way, guys, oh. don't don't let me forget. I have to get the bulletproof vest out of here in another world, or it makes the last boss almost impossible. Don't forget the uh, bulletproof vest when you go to the other other world. Oh, thank you. That <laughs> I feel so relieved. <laughs> the way the last boss works is it just absorbs damage like nobody's business. And you have to be able to block attacks. And if you have the bulletproof vest, blocks, you take no damage. 
Or you can just fucking strafe. Oh, wait. No, you can't strafe. And uh, I always run out of ammo and I'm fucked every time I forget that I can't beat the game because of it. Just get like the katana or some shit. Well, I mean, I'll get, I'll get it. But um, I, I think the last time I played, it took me like four hours to beat because I only had like two hits worth of health and then like one med kit and like one thing of rifle ammo and that was it. And Holy I had to shit. just, I had to get it absolutely perfect to win. It took forever. Uh, Super Metro, I've, I've played this game maybe, this might be my 10th time. 10? Yeah, no, I like the game. You can I... beat this game in a couple hours if you're skipping the cutscenes and you're just running past everything. Oh, okay. This is actually a game if you have, like, a nerdy girlfriend. You can sit down with her and play with her, because... It's got a girl protagonist, and it's kind of custom-made to spook out girls with all the weird dick imagery. Like that little fetus monster right there. Probably see it soon. Oh, that thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's like a little half-formed fetus. And it smacks you right in the womb. It's Brianna Wu's abortion. Oh, he would be so happy if he could have an abortion. On Christmas, Frank Wu is actually going to adopt a little Puerto Rican boy, and they're going to stab it in the heart with a coat hanger. Just so she can know what it's like to have an abortion. Alright. It was all worth it to get the beef jerky. Why do you need jerky from a bag? You got all these jerky monsters walking around. Now see, I thought you were gonna do the better joke. Where why does she need beef jerky when her pussy already looks like it's yeah, just roast I, beef? I don't I don't need no sexual innuendos to be funny though. In I her end though. <laughs> I gotta get the um. I think I need the tongs to get that key. Yeah. Uh, Mr. D, I think we'll do Sven Kuop on Thanksgiving Day. I'm hosting people for dinner, but maybe something in the morning. And then really late at night, if the turkey hasn't knocked me out? The turkey's gonna knock you out. It'll be inevitable. Well, I'm I'm hosting the dinner because I have the biggest, like, table and all the chairs. So I get all the turkey leftovers. I'm gonna make turkey soup the moment everybody leaves. And that always just knocks me right the fuck out. Man. I, lo I used to love... I, I loved, like, every year when I was a kid. Every single... Every single time, like after Thanksgiving, my mom would make like this, this turkey dumpling stew, and I would. She take a dump in the home. stew. Ew. Ah, uh, don't ruin that, man. That's good memories. Don't take a shit on my memories. Hey, like, Sebastian, it's stew. almost ready. Everybody oh, get a spoon. It's, <laughs> it's too soon. I'm kidding. I'm sure your mother was a wonderful lady. And never pooped in the soup. Nah, she never did. Now she pissed in it. Maybe queefed on a little bit, but not poop. And by the way, guys, we are playing on hard riddle difficulty, so... We are gonna have some fun with that god-awful book puzzle. Are you familiar with, uh, the works of William Shakespeare, Sebastian? Uh, somewhat? Okay, well, you need to know, uh, how many people die in Macbeth and, like, five other plays to solve the puzzle. And it has math in it, but I already know the answer because I've played this so many times. Hey, Coda, where are you going, babe? Where are you going? Give me a kiss first. Give me a kiss. Okay, now get it. You know what I like? Choop. I like crispy toasted bread Choop. delivered right to my door. I, 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 I want some bread. Yo, empty. I think she just woke up and realized I was doing a stream and that she hates them. But in the meantime, you guys could look at that wonderful flyer. Empty Sama. Can, can we have some bread? We want some toasted bread. How can you have more bread if you don't eat your meat? I want my bread with my meat. Stop you see, eating me, daddy. This is a visual metaphor because she's surrounded by bread and she has a yeast infection. You could put a baguette in her pussy and make sourdough. 
Sweet Jesus. What? Gonna put some, like, uh, fucking roast beef on that sour bread. Do I think it froze. It did freeze! Oh, I'm glad I quick saved a second ago. Damn. All right, let's try that again. This is why, um, if you guys go, oh, why is he quick saving? He's a pussy. No, it's because I don't want the game to crash on me. Oh, what's my turkey soup recipe? I put the entire turkey in the pot and uh, I put it in a bag so I can pick the bones out. And then I just put everything else that's left over in it. Uh, Nihil, ask your mother, she'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, I mean, for me, like, what I would do is I would take, like, the leftover turkey, just, like, strip the meat off and plop it right in the fucking soup with, like, a bunch of uh, flour dumplings. Ooh. Well, well, well. I love how the stream's, like, yin and yang. Empty here's talking about vaginas, and here I am making dick joke. Well, you, you talk about what you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right? <laughs> Sorry. Can't say you're wrong. Alright, hopefully um, this works. Because I got a quick load. And it'll just put me right outside of that room where I crashed. I'll make another save when I'm inside. Oh, Mr. D, I'll stab somebody's fucking back of the hand for a piece of fried turkey. Fried turkey? It's good. You know, it can it can be a little dry if they don't do it right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I've never really considered frying turkey. Like turkey leftovers or just like turkey? Oh, you can fry the entire turkey. It's good oh, shit. Oh, you mean deep fried turkey, right? Yeah, what, what, what do you think? I mean, like put in the electric chair? Like fry turkey. You'll no, never I was rape again. Like hand frying leftover turkey breast or something and like some uh, oil or something. Oh, you can do that. But, but when you're talking about like deep frying, when, when you say deep fried turkey and I say uh, gar garage is on fire and we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, I don't suggest doing it inside of the house. Maybe in the backyard yeah. very far away. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you guys hear that sound? That was Tonka getting close to the stream. But luckily, uh, there was no wheelchair ramp, so he can't get in. It's fine. That's a joke for five people to get in. I got it. <laughs> okay. Let's make that six people. Oh, fine. Now, if only Heather had enough foresight to hold on to these tongs for when she needs to get that abortion at the end of the game. Yeah, like, uh, to be quite honest, I'm surprised, like, after she just aborts the fetus, she, she doesn't just, like, grab it already and just... Like, I don't know why she's, like, being all triumphant about it. Like, bitch, this thing's still alive. Just fucking stamp on it. Well, because she didn't want Melissa to not have her delicious treat. Oh. She, oh that's what she does. She eats the fucking thing. No, I, I know. I know that. I've seen the fucking scenes. It's bad. I mean, that is the fruits of feminism. It's young girls getting abortions and old women wanting to eat them. Like, I, I know about menstrual cookies and all that shit, but, like, literally just eating a fetus raw, like, that's a that's a delicacy in feminist culture. That is the uh, John Podesta Christmas special. <laughs> you, you get some uh, candy cane crumbs, you roll the fetus in it, and you just heat it up till it becomes, like, marshmallow, just nice and mushy. I beat us my meatus while you eated the fetus. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't realize you were a poet. All right, so you're supposed to read this this long rambling poem and then put these books on the shelf in a specific order and I get you the code, but I just happen to know the code. Cuz I'm a bad boy and I don't want to spend an hour trying to figure it out again like I always do. I don't want to look at it though. I'm curious. Okay, we'll take a look. The problem is what is she looking at over here? She's like staring at the register. But there's nothing there. Okay, whatever, Heather. Uh, super. A menstrual cookie is a cookie. It's delicious and it's red. Don't ask what's in it. Ooh, I gotta get rid of all these books or they'll be in my inventory the entire game. It's a real pain to deal with.
I wish you didn't talk me into doing this. It's going to waste time. Yeah, but we have all night. It's like a Saturday. You working Sunday? That's no, I, I've, I got my pain in the ass brother coming over with his kid. Uh, does that mean I'm going to have to stream tomorrow? <laughs> if you want, you're a big boy. You can do what you want. <laughs> where's, the, uh, where's the thing telling me how to do it? Maybe that's what she's looking at. It's probably a note on the door, right? Yeah, there it is. It's right there. Before I solve it, let's take a look. No, I don't even know where the fucking note is. That's weird. Okay, whatever. It's, uh... I got it written down here. By the way, chat, if you're grossed out about the menstruation cookie, don't talk about vagina bacon. Everybody. I've streamed with him monsters? before. I don't know what you're talking about, TCS. I mean, I've streamed without him. The beginning. Hey, why is Speaking Melissa so smacked looking? <laughs> she just needs some makeup and eyebrows. Nah, she needs like some vitamin D. Maybe go outside. Oh, uh, vitamin look like a dick. Man. Don't you know? Would you put your dick in that? You ever notice she's got no eyebrows? How should I know? You think the uh, the carpet I matches the drapes? Eh? So eh? what? I mean, she's Remember got no hair on a pussy. And your true self as well. What if her uh, eyebrow hair become. migrated south, down south for the winter? The one who would Ooh. lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. That way, if she's shocked right? that you're fucking her, she can raise Did one of her pussy eyebrows. It's like one of those, it's like those fuzzy caterpillars you find on the side of the road during a hot summer day. The ones that roll up into a ball. Wait, wait, are you saying it's not common to find caterpillars in a woman's vagina? Oh, and I gotta break up with my girlfriend real quick. <laughs> wait! Oh, uh, Saint Virus, who the fuck is Uncle Gabby? <laughs> You mean Uncle Paul? What is yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be your daddy, Heather. Come sit on daddy's lap. I'll send you to another world. Oh, she has an accent because she's... Yeah, she's retarded. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. Retarded British? There's a difference? Well, one you're born with, the other one can be... Uh, Added to you by hitting you in the head hard enough. <laughs> which one is which? Oh, what I should have said, one is you're born with it and it's horrible and you can't ever get rid of it. And of course, that's being British. I ate 36 sesame balls and drank a bunch it was of very Maker's strange. Mark. How do <laughs> I not buy? I ate 36 sesame balls and drank a bunch of Maker's Mark. How do I not not vomit? Well, uh, if you want to know how to eat balls and survive, I suggest you talk to your mother! Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nathan, you're a delightful guy. Thanks for the five bucks. Oh, also, um, don't try not to puke. Just go somewhere safe and puke. Just get it out of here. It's going to bother you all fucking night. If you spent more than $30 on whatever you ate and is in your stomach, catch it in a bag and just drink the contents so that we don't waste your money. No, no, you do the opposite. You catch it in a bag and then you, you make a pastry bag out of it and you shoot it into your butthole. Because <laughs> your stomach already um, digested most of it for you, right? You know, it makes sense, but I mean, maybe he's like a cow. Maybe he wants to chew his food. Hey, why is this in Japanese all of a sudden? Oh, konnichiwa sama. Oh, okay, koromo bokake. Maybe when the last time the game crashed, it, uh, it said it to Japanese. Yeah, it's in Japanese, what the fuck? Game, we need to have a talk. <laughs> you, you are going beyond what you're supposed to do. Okay. It's maybe a sign. 
Oh, that's right, video games. Now instead of saying milady, Douglas will say ni hao. Oh, hi Nihil, I really think so. You oh. might be right. Oh, there's a freeze frame bonus. No, it's a plagiarism of Jacob's Ladder, but I digress. I always like how Vatio just like, just rapes the shit out of everything. People always go, oh, Pyramid Head, he rapes those two nurses. No, Vatio, he's the one grabbing all the titties the whole game. Uh, not only have I played it, Joe Blow, I've played it like 20 times and I reviewed it. After the stream, you guys should check out Empty Hero vs. Silent Hill 1 through 4. It's a review of all four games in order. Very nice video. Ah, oh, shit. I was gonna quick save and a dog bit me. Alright, I can't forget, I gotta get that bulletproof vest or the last boss becomes so much harder. And it's no fun. Run, little Timmy. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out, um... Are those all the corpses of, like, the dogs that Carol raped to death? Wait, what? I, I really can't hear you because this, this game is super loud right now. Can you guys hear Sebastian fine? So I'll turn this game down even more if I have to. Uh, one second. Yeah, RMD, if you go back to the clothing store, you get a bulletproof vest. It reduces 10%, I think 15% of your damage, and it makes you take no damage when you block. But it slows you down so. a little bit. Was oh, that Sebastian? You think you're good? Yeah, I think I fixed it. Okay. Let's raise up the input volume. You know, it's odd, in all these games, you heal with a health drink. Why doesn't she just drink my cum? It's so much better for her. Heather, you're stuck up and crazy. Oh, and usually, the... um, wait real quick, I don't save this much. Except for I'm streaming and this game's crashing a lot. <laughs> so don't judge me, I don't usually save this much. It's bad for your score to save. I'm gonna get a really bad score this game, I'm sure. Alright, go ahead, what? Uh, maybe it the, the health drinks are the, the little bits of protein. I yes. like little bits of protein in it. it. It would fit with the narrative that this game portrayed. Hey, Empty, loving the stream. Oh, thanks. Uh, Comdex. Oh, yeah, you were that guy. He was asking me how to get Silent Hill to work on OBS. Now, what you should have done is sent me a link to your stream. I would have promoted it. <laughs> you know, as long as it wasn't at the same time as mine. Yeah. I'm not stuck up. I'll, uh, I'll hook you guys up every now and then. Ooh, I think there's some closers. Yeah, there they are. That's the sound they make. I think this is where I get the coat hanger or where I use it. One of those two things. Yeah, okay, there's um there's a way up, but for some reason I can't I can't see it. I guess the wide oh there it is, okay. I was gonna say the widescreen patch maybe was screwing up. I'll come back here in a little bit. Oh, the static is bugging you guys, huh? Well, maybe I can turn the sound effects down, but leave the music up and the voice up. Let's take a look. Or I guess I can just turn the radio off. I don't really need it. Oh, wait, there's, an, there's a volume just, adjustment right there. Okay. Thanks for pointing that out. I don't want you guys to be uncomfortable.
By the way, if you ever get hit by one of those guys, you're a scrub. So if I ever get hit by one of them, you have to call me out for being a scrub. But I'm going to try to avoid it. There's only like one or two times where they put you in a narrow hallway where they can hit you. So we should be alright. Ooh, I got a flashlight. Oh, wait, no. Just a flashlight. <laughs> oh, by the way, look. PS1 game, PS2 game. PS1 game, PS2 game. Okay. That's enough of that. Oh yeah, guys, we are playing the Silent Hill 3 drinking game, so every time you get a boner from Heather, you have to take a drink. Okay. I have no alcohol. Now, if you get a boner from something other than Heather, you don't need a drink, you need to go see a psychologist. By the end of the stream, MT will probably be in the hospital for alcohol poisoning. I have a fairly high tolerance for drinking. As I say, by the end of the stream, you're going to be the hospital for alcohol poisoning. Okay. Now, once again, if Heather had the foresight to save this for the end of the game, <laughs> give her that baby lickety split. Oh, and here's the bulletproof vest. I don't know if I want to equip it. It's only really helpful at the end. And uh, I guess the memory of a lesser fight. Ooh, but what's my block button now? Because I changed the controls. Let's take a look. Because it was the uh, the button that I now have is my camera button. But I guess those can both be my camera button, right? That's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, sorry guys. I didn't want to have to do this on stream, but... um, These controls are a little odd. And oh, shit. they're even worse on mouse and keyboard. You'd think it'd be better, but it's not. I'm looking for the block button. Zoom, supplies, enter, skip, lights, ready? No, that's not it. Search view, up, down. I, I think it is the ready button. I think that's the, the aim button. Well, the thing you have to consider is, I, if I remember correctly, you can't you you can only block with a melee weapon. Oh, you might be right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, unless you're like fucking Christian Bale and you can do some weird gun kata shit and just block bullets with more bullets. Yeah, let me uh, get my knife out. I also don't have a quick menu button, <laughs> which is a pain in the butt. Oh, I don't think I. Oh, do I have? There we go. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, I might not be able to block. I might be screwed. Let's try mouse and keyboard. There's that. That makes her crab walk. Tab. No, enter. Shift. Okay. I can look in there and see what shift is assigned to, and that'll fix it. Left shift for dash. Ooh, that doesn't seem right. Because dash is my shooting button, isn't it? And I am fucked, huh? <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's just change my shoot to be, um where square would be. And that should do it. Yeah? So that becomes that. 
And uh, that was the light, which I'll make select. And action is that. Okay. Oh, but now I strafe when I do that. That could get me in trouble later, but whatever. That's good enough for now. There we go. Now I can block. Crisis averted. Sorry for wasting your time, guys. But we're, we're back in action. Oh, hair slut with sex hair. Sweet forward, sweet shekels, whatever the fuck your name is. The buyer or wishes they had animations on par with the PS2 game. You kidding me? Alright, now I gotta go back to that room where the thing was hanging down, but um, there might be one more door over here. No, I guess there isn't. Okay. Let's head back. Uh, some guy's asking, uh, if you went to Silent Hill, what kind of monsters would you see? Uh, Sebastian, you want to field that question? Ooh, I think you got to take a poop. Uh, personally, I, I think I'm already in my personal hell of a Silent Hill. Just fat women all over the place. Little yappy dogs. New Jersey is not a very <laughs> nice place to live. Oh, wait. I uh, missed my door. Damn. Oh, yeah, I by the way. Oh. Good. Oh no, you first. If you if you're. Oh, okay. Well, Daniel asked if I'm beating the game today. Th this game I could probably beat in a couple hours if I really wanted to, and I was skipping a lot of stuff. But y you know, we'll probably be done around midnight tonight. All right. So, uh, empty. Did you see that one furry that was trying to convert like the Discord to like anarcho communism? <laughs> uh, was that today? Nah, I think it was like a little while ago. I forgot when. Did it work? Are no. we no anno uh, communists? No, but uh, furry no longer <laughs> with us. Uh, we had to put him out to pass. We had to take Lassie out behind the barn. Take the cum out of him, put a bullet in him instead. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Like, when, when even Derek is sitting there, like, you know, we gave you, like, a couple days to not be stupid. <laughs> when, when Derek actually wakes up and goes, stop being retarded. Uh, you're, 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 you're having a problem right there. I like how you go, and even Derek, that fucking retard. <laughs> no, it's just that Derek generally almost never does anything says anything he's like i would ban you but this is in my discord i'm like yeah i'm a little uh i'm a little less uh restricted on that or at least self i don't have that kind of self-restraint fuck you oh i just got the shit slapped out of me in that last room they really wanted in the womb oh it didn't even hurt me okay Now this game does have a reputation, and rightly so, for there being a thousand doors and all of them being locked. And it's very easy to get lost if you're not looking at your map. So don't think I'm just looking at the map because I'm a scrub. It's very important to do constantly. So did the furry guy make a good argument? Like, what was his shishuya? Nah. All he did was just start spamming this one article and start calling us all a bunch of weirdos. Uh, let me take a shit real quick and I'll read through and remember what I did. No, I won't let you take a shit. Hold it in. Too late. 
I'm no poops shit. allowed! Fuck you. Don't you know our motto, too many poos we all lose? At least make it a nice liquid shit. Take the shower head off, put that hose in your little tuchus. Liquify it. Do it for the family. Do it for the show. Oh, why would I go back in here? This is a bad room to go to. Anything in here? Anything in there? No. Okay. Yeah, just walk like this. Just hold it in. Crab walk. Serpentine. Although Heather's got an advantage. She's got that skirt on. She can just drop a log and keep going. That's what that move is. It's like, no one notices. Just dropping hot logs. It wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about, mister. Oh, by the way, this puzzle coming up is literally... I have to help Heather bust a nut. <laughs> mm, somehow I did this backwards last time. Alright, that door up and on the right should be open. Because there's nothing else. Don't hit me, you fucking scrub. Okay. Oh no, it's not open! No! No, this area is a fucking wash. Now I gotta go back in that crappy room with the little guys. I mean, I could quick load the other room, but quick loads kind of crash this every now and then. I don't want to do that. Try to limit it as much as possible. Oh, hey, it's the tape from Silent Hill 1. I forgot about this. Alright, yeah, I was supposed to go up here after getting the nut. I got, I got nut, uh... What's it called? I got fixated on my nut. Alright, this is the Chinese buffet. You'll see why in just a second. Yum yum. Okay, for posterity, I have streamed Resident Evil 4 and Revelations. And I tried Revelations 2, but it just, it, I didn't have enough CPU strength, so we had to abort that. I think that's actually why we wound up doing 4, was because that one wasn't working. Oh, don't get me hit. Fuck. I mean, I'm open to streaming all of them if they function. Especially the ones I've already reviewed, I can just take it easy, you don't have to take any notes. Just focus on having some good old clean fun. Come on, stick your arm in it, you thought. Why would they make that for New Game Plus only? Is there nothing in here? What the fuck? This room is legitimately only for, um... Oh, actually, no, that door is gonna creak open as I try to leave. Oh, no? I could've sworn that's the room where it happens. Oh, yeah, that's right, Hans. We also tried Remake, but it, <laughs> it crashed before I even saved the game once. Which is weird, because that should've been a game that played fine. It's just a fucking bunch of bitmaps with, like, two character actors on the whole screen. Alright, so I need to 
get that nut open so I can get that uh, key for that door with the moon on it. And this is the only open door, so it's got to be over here. I think I'm missing something obvious. That or there's like a room with a vice. That somehow I missed. Oh, I should probably turn this off. There we go. Now they don't won't see me so fast and they'll be a little less able to, to grab me from behind. Oh, you know what? I got the fucking dog key door. Or the, the dog door key. What's that for? That's what I'm not doing because I'm stupid. Oh, I gotta go back down to that that brown area. And there's a locked door down there. Okay. I vaguely know what to do now. Okay, it's up here and twice to the right. There should be a closer right here. Yep. Don't hit me. Okay. And now I get what I need to uh, crack that walnut with in here. Ooh, and a pipe. Although I could say Heather does look like she's been hitting the pipe. She looks like a man. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping my, uh, my nutcracker would be in here. Shit. Wasn't meant to be. What a shame. Maybe, uh, in the bread shop? Oh, I've got the bleach. Now I can put it in my autistic son's butthole to cure him. Perfect. Yeah, there should be a bunch of flies. Yeah, you can't get past that. I need to get, um, I think ammonia, but I don't have it yet. Somehow I missed it. Actually, Martin, the reason they don't, uh, get Douglas at ambulance is because it would be very expensive. <laughs> he, he doesn't have insurance. Alright, so I came here, I think, a little early. I gotta go to another room. Get my nutcracker or my detergent, then come back there. Ooh, there's a purple retard running around, I can hear him. Alright, well shit, uh... <laughs> where's my bleach? What the fuck, game? Can I drop off and die? Let me see. You know, I thought I had this on hard, but on hard you fall off and die. So I must be on normal. Can you knock me off? Hey, knock me off, dude. Take a good whiff of those breps. Knock me off. No, I guess not, damn. It's empty. How do they know it's me? Ah!
Hmm. This is how you know you're playing a girl with a female protagonist. She won't just walk through some bugs. Dumb thought. She's padding her bra and the length of the game. Hmm. <laughs> Where the fuck's my stuff I need? This is quite the quandary, isn't it? I think that's the door I came in here through, yeah? Okay. And there's one more to check over here. And I think I checked it last time and it was locked. Or it wasn't even on the map anymore. It's gonna be up here and on the left. Right, it's locked. Hey, fuck off, dude. Are you guys discussing the merits of war? <laughs> or, or am I on a V stream and didn't know it? What's going on here? Okay, well, I guess I missed something over here. Maybe when I had my flashlight off, I couldn't see it. Yeah. Well, she just step on the fucking nut. <laughs> Save us all some time, Heather. Just step on it. What are you doing? Uh, I am on live chat video games. I can see everything. And everything should be on the... Ah, uh, oh, damn. On the stream, too. The only way your message is going to get eaten, I think, is if you do all caps. I have no word filters, no content filters, just uh, no all caps to keep people from spamming as much. Hmm. I'm in a bad spot. Where the fuck's the stuff I need? Oh, you got me, Hans. I'm a scrub. I'm a top-of-the-line scrubologist. I studied at Scrub University. I feel like something should be in here, not just the walnut. Wait, do I just... Do I just examine the nut? And that opens it? No, I guess not. Damn. Well, I have to be missing something very obvious. Because I need to bust my nut, and I need to, uh, get some bleach or ammonia. Can I even go back the way I came over here? Okay, yeah, I can, but I don't think I want to. It was very expensive. <laughs> what? What was that? Oh, thank you, uh, Arc Archangles. You know, baby, I love you too. I'd love you even more if you told me where the fucking nutcracker and ammonia are. But I, I love you just like just the way you are. Oh, hold on, guys, I'm getting hot. I'm gonna take off my shirt.
Hopefully that rendition of Careless Whisper doesn't get me a copyright strike for being too goddamn sexy. Oh, what is this? No, I'm sorry guys, I don't have a webcam and I don't have the beautiful body of a Jama. If you guys looked at the pinned comments on the Discord, I found just a wonderful stream of him yesterday where they got him to strip naked and dance around. I didn't get the naked parts, just the one with his shirt off. Yo, stop making me a scrub, you piece of shit. Piling up. <laughs> Let me read the thing, you dick. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill him and read it. You know what it is? Is that I forgot that I'm playing on hard uh, riddle mode, which makes uh, it not as simple as just getting a nutcracker. I gotta read that and figure out the clues. Well, for those of you who haven't played Talent Hood games, you have to kick them when they're down, or they get right back up with full health. Alright, what's the fucking clue? Because I, I never read this. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain of hurt. And the final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. What? I got some blessed for you. What? I think they're talking about, um, you know, childbirth, 300 days. That's about nine months, maybe a little. Yeah, it's actually, uh, ten months. That doesn't give me any clue how to get to the fucking nutcracker, damn. Oh, that's his name. Gara Gara Poe. That was that furry. <laughs> yeah, we gave him, like, multiple days. We kind of figured he would stop trying to be retarded. And, and then eventually it just, yeah, it got real autistic. He just had to pull up his boots and go back to fucking animals. Poor guy. He can go be furry somewhere else. That's the way I see it. Yeah, did you wash your hands when you were done? I don't you get poop fibers on my stream. <sighs> you know what? I, I kind of want to... I kind of want to do a retort where you're pissing on your stream, but you you do wash your hands. Fuck you. No, I just piss right on my hands. You're in a sterile. Everybody knows that. I love the sound these guys make, these little retards. They sound like Tim Allen. Make the sound, dude. <laughs> not, not you, the little guy. But okay, oh. you can do it too. <laughs> and you can do it if you want. You know, it's a free country. Nah, it's okay. I just like... I did hear it on the stream with the, with the little thing though. It's like fucking Tim Allen, man. Uh, Mr. D, technically all of us are walking buttholes. But seriously, guys, where the fuck is the nutcracker and the ammonia? Like, I think the ammonia would be in here, right? But she's not head-tracking to anything. Nothing stands out. Didn't something, like, bling in the corner there? Uh, no, that's where I got the lead pipe. Off the wall, that steam coming out of the pipe. Oh. Uh. Yeah, maybe doing hard riddle mode wasn't the best idea. Well, Did you guys see the... Fair, oh, what? You have to have a pretty high IQ to play hard riddle mode. Oh, shit, 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 don't... Did you I... get hit by it? By a little guy, yeah. Because oh. my, uh, my camera's not centering... And there's like five in this room. <laughs> Where's the stuff I need? Game, what are you doing?
Like, it's one thing not to figure out a riddle when you have all the pieces, but I can't find the next piece. It's killing me. Have you tried looking inside uh, one of them butthole monsters? Just like reach your hand right in and see if you can get anything. This is like band camp all over again. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, except you got no flutes. Well, um... <laughs> I like how you skip over the implied anal rape. Just, you know, flutes. What? It can't be in the subway station. That's way after this. I gotta crack my nut now, baby. Oh, Viddy. Uh, you're talking... You're not... It's not a cheerleader alt. It's, uh... How do you explain it? How do you explain it, MT? That uh, secret alt costume with the heather beam? Oh, yeah, I've had that before. Yeah, it was that, like, some Sailor Moon shit? Magical girl, that's what it is. It's a magical girl costume. Yeah, you could argue that, or Super Sentai, all kinds of different things. The fuck is a Super Sentai? That's like uh, Power Rangers. Oh. Although, I'm just going to put it out there, the lightsaber in this game that she gets sucks balls. It's awful. Well, if you're talking about the, if you're talking about the lightsaber that I'm thinking of, uh, it, that lightsaber scales with your rank, doesn't it? Oh, you might be right. Yeah, I actually, yeah, that is, that is what it is. Hold on, let me check. Oh, I found the ammonia, thank God. Okay. Oh, this is that bathroom I went in and there was nothing there. What the fuck? It didn't spawn until after I got the other thing. Oh, and that's the toilet with the blood. Oh, I got the cutscene, okay. Maybe I did play Silent Hill 2 on PC last time. I wasn't sure, but I got I got the exclusive scene. This is way too gross. Yeah, the beam saber after you receive a 10 star ranking, its length will double even think of doing something so disgusting. Jeez. That's just too easy. What? It gets big the more you appreciate it. What's wrong with that? Oh! Period. Period metaphor. Everybody get your dick out. It's a period metaphor. Alright, so now we can actually proceed. I, I can't believe I had to backtrack all the way here. There was no indication of that. That sucks. Alright, so I turn right, and that's her right, not mine. Run back up, kill the bugs, hopefully get the thing I need to crack the nut, and we'll be good to go. It's in the jewelry store? What? Have I already been to the jewelry store? Oh, uh, this, this one map is no good. It doesn't have anything labeled. I think that might be down here still, though. Isn't it? And it might be an item that didn't spawn until I needed it. <laughs> oh yeah, Sebastian, did that bloody toilet remind you of anything? It reminds me of my youth. Well, <laughs> I mean, you just took a shit, didn't you? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Nice big Chipotle shit. No, it's more like, uh, I eat, I've been eating chicken patties for like two weeks now, <laughs> kind of shit. What, have you been eating at a middle school? Nah, man, I'm broke, and I said, you know what, I'm sick of eating ramen, it tastes like shit. Let me go buy some chicken patties. Okay, and, uh, I don't think I I've just... had a chicken patty since middle school, I love those things. Oh yeah, no, they're great, but what you do, what I do with them is I, I'll bake them in like my toaster oven and I'll add a uh, uh, tomato sauce I made uh, last night. Oh jeez, okay. And Maybe you shouldn't have mentioned the tomato sauce with this game. Oh, because uh, uh, her pussy stinks. 
I get it. Ah, oh, jeez. Ble free bleeding. Oh, yeah, oh, Heather nice. is a free bleeder, that's right. But she walks on her hands and it drips down her f front of her face and her back. <laughs> She's a dirty oh, girl. All right, let's go back upstairs. But yeah, I put monster cheese on that shit and broil it for like a couple minutes so that way the cheese melts. It's oh really? Was it was it Eddie Monster? Uh, <laughs> is that it's a reference over your head? No, I know who Eddie Monster is. I think he's a little kid from the TV show The Monsters. Oh, oh, I'm I'm thinking the wrong Eddie. I'm thinking of like the Eddie from uh, Meatloaf. Oh my god. What do you mean when he was in that uh that tranny movie? Yeah, uh shit, what was Rocky it? Horror? Rocky Horror Picture Show, yeah. Did you like that movie? That moved me that movie made me a it little moved you? uncomfortable. Everybody always tells me how great that movie is and I watched it and I was like, This is like the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. It's a movie yeah. for crazy people. It, it's a movie you kinda have to sit down and accept that crazy shit's gonna happen. Like, if you know what you're getting into, it's funny. It's funny as hell. Um, but if you don't, if you've never watched a movie before, you're going to sit here there going, what the fuck am I watching? I guess watch I just, like, I don't want Tim Curry giving me boners. That's all. Is that so much to ask, world? Tim Curry not giving me boners? I love, I love that. I, I'm not going to lie, but I found it kind of funny. Uh, the one part where, like, Tim Curry uh, sneaks into, like, the, 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 the dude in the chick's room at the same night, and, it's, and he says like the same lines and shit. Uh -huh. It's funny. I can't. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen that movie again, though. It's not. Doesn't have a lot of re rewatchability. The, also, um, whenever they do, they they like to host events in like certain theaters where they'll do the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and like everyone fucking dresses up as like a bunch of fucking tranny weirdos and just like throws toast on the screen or popcorn and shit. That's right. Oh, by the way, whoever said it was in here, you're a liar. This is where the walnut is. You fuckers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my friends try to invite me out to that shit all the time. It's like, you know, I don't think I want to put on women's clothing and throw toast at a screen just because the guy's eating toast. Doesn't make sense. What are you doing with your life? It, it, it's weird. But, hey, what can you do? You know, I'm surprised that um, movie has been shot on by, like, crazy coons trying to be like, Oh, this is transphobic. Is it? I don't know. I mean, it's a transgender from Transylvania. I don't fucking know. Oh, this is so much spookier without the light. Oh yeah, I must be playing on normal because you can't look at your map on dark, on hard. In the dark? Yeah, and that's the most Silent Hill games. You can't look at your map with the lights off. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, you want your light on so you can uh, see where you're going and look at maps and pick up items. But it attracts enemies. Yeah. My problem is I have a strafe button assigned to my same button. So if I try to stealthily turn it on and off, I might just bump into a bad guy. <laughs> Ooh, well, well, well. TCS. I don't know what he's talking about, but he does something at home when I'm doing streams. I assume it involves bodily fluids. Uh, we don't want to know what you do on the daily TCS. <laughs> Mr. D posts like a bread fart. Oh, I get it. I don't. Now you'll notice Heather runs out of the room because she found something smellier than her pussy. She can't handle it. Is she making mustard gas in that? Like, yeah, she literally point? makes mustard gas to kill some bugs. It's the dumbest puzzle in the game. Because she didn't want to walk through some moths. Jesus. It's not even I, like if you walk through them, they kill you. She's just like, no, this is okay. I don't want to do it. That's fucking stupid. 
Uh, TCS. Okay. When, when, next time, next time, if we ever meet up, I'll just like put my hand on your head. You'll just grab my arm and I'll just flip you upside down. Okay. And you'll pepper him with kisses. What are you going on with this? What? No. Uh -oh, You're gonna um, wrestle him? No, 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 no. So, uh, uh you know how uh it, you're you, you go to like a one of them seafood departments in like grocery store right and yeah. they got like the lobster tank now when they're grabbing them they usually grab them by the body but you'll get those the, the fucking lobsters they uh, some of them will like grab your hand with their bound claws and just like start jamming their head into your palm okay so usually when you're when you're dealing with that shit and also so you don't have them try to get away uh you flip them upside down and lift them out of the water so and they just kind of stop moving so you're saying he's a lobster person? No, I'm saying that's what he wanted. Oh, he he's, his hopes and dreams are to be handled like a naughty lobster. We're going to put rubber bands on you, boy. And we're going to touch you. You ain't going to like it. But I'm going to like that you don't like it, so I'm going to keep doing it. And we're going to put a little butter stick on you. Put you in some hot water. He can just kiss you all over your nipples and your butt cheeks and your taint and the back of your kneecaps. It's gonna be wonderful. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Do you say back of the kneecaps? <laughs> That's the most erogenous zone on the body, didn't you know that? How? Is it sexy? No, think, how it how often do you stimulate the back of your kneecap? Everybody at home right now, uh, whip out your ball bag, right? And get those nice soft feathery ball bag hairs from like the very back near the taint. And just rub that against the back of your kneecap. It's delightful. Nigga, we can't stretch our test our, our fucking ball bag all the way to a back. How what? Dude, if your balls don't hang at least twelve inches, you're you're a scrub. I'm sorry. Look. I'm about to die, damn. Don't kill me. I'm trying to get my lights turned off so they don't see me. I'm gonna put down some jerky. They can uh, stab that for a little bit. Leave me the fuck alone. Jerks. It's jerky for the jerks. Get it, guys? Because they're not very nice at all. Oh, damn. Before I go in here, let me go back out there. Although this might, this room might be a dead end. Let me check this door. Oh, I found the nutcracker. Great. Finally. All right, guys, if, if you're ready, I'm ready to bust a nut. Let's all do it at the same time. <laughs> Why can't I use it here? Come on, game. Combine it. <laughs> oh, pick up the vice, you dumb whore. What are you doing? Oh, do I need, like, a handle for this thing? Is that it? I mean, it is a Silent Hill game, I would imagine. Well, that's a Resident Evil game that has the cranks. <laughs> You might be thinking of. Yeah, you might be actually right. I might be getting my horror games mixed up. Fuck. Oh, Hans, Hans is correct. It's no nut November. I gotta stop the stream. We can't possibly bust this. Hey, remember, just remember when you DM'd me and said uh, you were gonna ban people for violating no nut November for a day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, there goes half the fucking Discord. Okay, for some reason it worked that time. Why not? You're gonna have to ban yourself from the stream now. Try and bust a nut. Yo, is that a... Is that thing full of goats? Oh, no, it's body bags. Okay. Somehow, dead people's a little less disturbing than a bunch of goats. What if it's, uh, dead goats? Well, you wouldn't put a goat in a body bag. You'd have sex with it. Uh, do I look like uh, I'd, be, uh, I'd raise Allah? 
Well, you better if you don't want to have a fatwa put against you. A what? A fatwa. How is a jihad? Although, if they wanted to kill me, it'd have to be a skinny and shape walk because I'm not fat. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, here's the store. The other Silent Hill uh, Easter egg with the safe spot? I don't think I know what you're talking about, dude. You mean the one at the amusement park where it's it's got Harry's handwriting? I mean, that did kind of bring a tear to my uh, my brown eye when I saw that the first time. Yo, get the fuck out of the way, dude. I don't know what button reloads. <laughs> With this convoluted control scheme where everything does four actions. Oh shit. No, 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 no! Alright, I gotta get back to that moon door. Which I think is... downstairs? God. For reload, I think you have to ready your gun, and then I think what you do is you press, like, use. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, don't hit me! Ooh, I fucking juked him. I'm like Sugar Ray Leonard, you bitch. You missed me. That's not juking, it's an AI. You cheesed it. No, I. What are you talking about? I didn't cheese the, it. Cheesing, cheesing is uh, uh, manipulating the AI to do a thing so you can take advantage of what he does. No, no, I said juking. Yeah, but like a football move. Involved... What the fuck what? are you going on about? It's a football move. The juke. The fuck is juke? Juking is when somebody's about to tackle you. And they think you're gonna go left, so you jump right at the last second, and they whiff. And you go ahead, and they fall on the ground. Yeah, but that's that's against another player. I'm talking about with an AI here. It's the same thing. It's just a difference. You just always have to be right, don't you, Sebastian? I'll be. I'm. I am high IQ. <laughs> I'm high IQ. By the way, we were talking about goats. Look, at the, there's already a fucking uh, moon moon symbol right on the door. Oh, yeah. The enemy is here is gonna go, Did you come from the room with the dead goats? I'm very horny. Can I smell your fingers, please? Did you touch them? Hey, it's not halal to partake in the bleeding of the of the whoop. Well, you know why goats go, Nyeh. Why? You'd stutter too if Muslims were fucking you in the ass every day. Fucking Christ. Stop fucking us! No! My butthole, no! Ooh, I think it's time for the boss. Okay. Damn it, now it's gonna be like half the stream's gonna be like, Guttily doesn't know what a juke is! Listen, I played MOBAs when I was a loser. I know what a juke is. Yeah, you know what? Fuck MOBAs, because now if you Google Empty Hero, you don't get my stuff. You get, I have an Empty Hero Select screen on my MOBA. Oh, Fucking God. dog shit. Oh, by the way, guys, this game is chock full of visual metaphors for dicks and sex and birth and abortions and puberty. So pay attention to this boss. See if you can find the hidden message in it, okay? You ever played this game, Sebastian? I know you said that you tried to at one point. I tried, but it just looked funky, and I wasn't able to really get it to work proper, so I just... I, it's on my... It's installed, okay. it's just I gotta fix it. Yeah, I would recommend this game to anybody. It's fun. It just takes some finagling to get the PC version to work. Yeah, still, I'm not really sure what this boss is supposed to represent. It's a penis. Oh! It's it's fucking Silent Hill. If it's not a penis, it's it's a fucking vagina. If it's not a vagina, it's it's a fucking dead girl, you know. 
You know, Derek, sometimes a gigantic penis monster is just a gigantic penis monster, okay? <laughs> oh, shit, I can't see it. Oh, there he is, okay. It's in the hole right now, you gotta wait till it pops out. Seriously, though, that shit is kind of terrifying to look at. Oh, I can't go to my inventory. Uh oh. This could be a problem. I can't manually reload, and I can't go to my inventory to do it the other way. Uh, I kind of think I suggested. Yeah, I tried, it didn't work. I mean, it'll reload when I run out of bullets like that. But because of that, I took that hit just now that I shouldn't have otherwise. You see, I could have had a no-hit boss fight, but I, uh, I got stuck reloading. What are you, Shadow Zerg? What, do you run that channel now? What? Oh, uh, you don't know about that one channel? It, it's a channel called Shadow Zerg. He uploads nothing but, like, boss fights, and it's, like, no damage. Oh, okay. Well, just like before. Pretty nifty to look at, actually. Yeah, I like there's a guy called Carcinogen. He does Resident Evil speedruns where he gets no damage. But he always bans me from all of his various Twitters and YouTubes. Because the guy, he looks like an elderly Jewish grandma. And he's always like, okay guys, what should I do next? Resident Evil Revelations or Resident Evil 5? And I go, go eat a sandwich. He looked like a Holocaust <laughs> survivor. And he gets so pissy about it. Did you just tell me to eat hey. a sandwich? Why, why would he get mad if you're trying to help him? <laughs> well, obviously, he, if he wanted to eat, he'd be doing it, and he wouldn't look like an old Jewish grandma from the Holocaust. Poor little feller. Oh, you guys are... T did you see earlier, Sebastian, we were trying to get in contact with our goddess Narcissa, our queen, our beloved? Uh, when was this? Uh, today around, like, 2 or 3 o'clock. Uh, no, nah, I was too busy playing Eunice. I, I didn't notice. I did notice that somebody put a Jama Discord link in the in the Discord. <laughs> and uh, I, I looked at it, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to try posting messages in there to get fucking message history to come up. Like, that's bullshit. Okay, well, Narcissa was streaming and complaining how bored, quote-unquote, she was. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I shared a Discord link to... Uh, you know, quote unquote, her Discord, and I said, "Hey guys, try to get in the room and see if you can get me unbanned, because I want to talk to our goddess Narcissa." And um, one of our guys was a pretty clever dude. He managed to uh, not only get in himself, but give me his login credentials so I could log in. Nice. And I got in for about ten seconds. I was like, "Hello, Narcissa, you're so wonderful and beautiful." I just want to kiss you on your left butt cheek, then your right butt cheek. <laughs> but uh, he hung up on me oh, almost immediately. You know, Narcissa, stop, you, start, Narcissa needs to stop being a prude. I mean, come on. When somebody offers you a free kiss on the butt cheek, I mean, I'd fucking take it. I'd be like, oh, uh, yes, please. I, I would much appreciate the offer. Yeah, as Jesus said, turn what the other cheek. Happen? And hey, my subtitles are off again, damn. You must be one of them. Oh, I saw the video games, yeah. Carcinogen do? got one of the developers from Resident Evil 3 to watch him attempt a no-damage Resident death, Evil 3 Claudia, run. It's pretty cool. Claudia. Although, uh, Carcinogen really about? dropped his spaghetti, she and the translator so you wasn't really taking now. him too serious. So there's a lot of dead air. So I tried I googling your name you. uh, under an incognito tab, I'm and it doesn't side. look. It, it looks. I mean, it looks like you're coming up on search this. results. I, I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Why don't you start by telling well, me I noticed it a lot. Might be just you. And that monster. I mean, keep in mind, what YouTube runs on that? Google algor uh, search algorithms. I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and. I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander. Okay, guys, in the chat, um, describe all the ways you would lick and caress Heather. If Go. You hadn't found me, <laughs> the best <laughs> erotic writer gets a, a, an upgrade on their status on the What's Discord. So special about I'll make you a smeghead and not a, a kawaii babe. Ah, so oh, shit. I? What have you done? I mean, what I would do is I would start... By grabbing that stupid ski vest she has on, and I'd hike it up so her armpits, like, get pinched. 
And then while she's distracted by that, I jam both of my thumbs up her butt. And do like... You know that thing where you go like, here's the church, here's the steeple, look inside, see the people? It'd be like that, but in her butthole. Ah, uh, wait. Defu, he says, I would lick the crust under her tiny titties. Ooh! What's wrong? That sweat that accumulates? Nothing. That underboob sweat? That's going? that's the sweetest ambrosia in the world. Titty smegma. I bet she Wait, she wipes from back to front, so she's got that that super cute orange taint. Get a good liquoroo of that. Han says, first I'd plow her harder than Rome plowed Carthage. <laughs> okay. Mr. D says tentacles everywhere. <laughs> I would lick her fingers and cram them up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so far Sagawa, you you're the winner so far. Oh shit. You guys have to top that one. Although I am turning you all into Chris Hansen. He he did start back up the uh, the show. Uh, it says here yeah. you wanted to shove Heather's fingers up your ass. What did you mean by that? She's only 16. But you know how you get out of that, Sebastian? Age of consent? No, no, no. Heather is 16, but Alessa was like 18, and Cheryl was 8. So you add those together, and she's in her 30s. <laughs> so it's totally legal. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, let's see, let's see. I would wipe her butt with my scrotum and sneeze into her leathery folds. <laughs> <laughs> Who is bigger? You sexy bastard. I want to smash her in the clip with that lead pipe she carries. <laughs> not, not, not a sexual thing. I'm just a bad person. I want to do that. Just in general. Is that so much to ask, people? Alright, hold on a second. Jeremy says, okay, first I would put my face in her pits, then I would take off her she's smell then, put put her feet in my feet, have her pits on put, the top of my head. Put her so feet in my feet. Okay, How are you going to put her Jeremy feet in your feet? Oh, here we go. Uh, Vidi says, I would jam both my fists up inside her and use her to reach up onto my grandfather clock to grab stuff I put up there a few hours ago. Now, see, that's just practical. Yeah. That's not really sexy. That's, like, useful. That's like <laughs> saying you would use her like a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah. What? Personally, I'd rather just have her squat down on the floor so I can step on... So I have a stool to step on so I can reach higher places. It'd be a lot easier. I would just make her an abortion factory. Just have her co cough up a fetus every day for me. Now nah, what I what I'm gonna do is we're gonna reenact uh, a mix of scenes uh, from the Matrix. I get to be Bill Cosby, and she's gonna take that red pill, and she's gonna abort a fetus right in my mouth. She's gonna shoot it out of her pussy over your head. You're gonna lean back like Neo. <laughs> Eight mile, baby. <laughs> Just lean back. I'm paying shit. Little fetus goes over your head, and La Claudia catches it midair in her teeth. Hippity hoppity, that fetus ain't my property. Oh, the, right, by by the way, guys, if you don't know, um, Heather is actually uh, Sargon's girlfriend in the game. <laughs> I, you. I hope none of you get that joke, because that's a terrible joke. I'm a bad person for saying it. Sargon's actually a real nice guy. TCS automatically fails, because that is just fucking disgusting. What is wrong with oh, you? Oh, you know what? Ban TCS. That, that, bad TCS. There's we're degeneracy, getting... and then there's just unforgivable. Did, 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 we're about... I can't even say it. It's so degenerate, I can't even say the word degeneracy. <laughs> hey, are you ready? Oh, God. I'm, no, I'm not actually ban him. Yeah, don't actually ban him. No. Well, that's, that's, your, that's your one warning, okay? Yeah, we, don't, don't. we don't talk about kids, and we don't touch animals, and we don't joke about holding hands. Oh, by the yeah, way, man. uh... There should be a cutscene where a ghost, like, pushes me onto the tracks. I just made a quick save in case it happens. It's kind of unavoidable, and it's a really cheap death, and I hate it. Uh, Ace says, I would caress her greasy locks and brush my lips across her vaseline skin that smells oh, distinctively of baby wipes and desperation, whispering sweet nothings in her crusty ear. Dude, I think you're talking about your grandma last night, uh, not Heather. <laughs> Why are you picking on his grandma? <laughs> it sounds more like he's... What? I used to work with this black guy who lived with his grandma. And whenever he would try to get in an argue with me, I'd just be like, Oh, yeah? Well, I, 
<laughs> I'd be like, I fucked your grandma last night. And then I'd be like, oh, I love empty heroes, balls in my mouth and my face and butthole. <laughs> and you would get so mad. And one night, some other guy did the voice, thinking he could join in on the joke, and he got choked the fuck out. <laughs> wow. Poor little feller. And I wondered, like, why didn't he choke me out? Because I did it all the time. But the new guy, no, he, he didn't get it. He wasn't allowed. Oh, come on, game. Stop, stop hitting me with the fucking train. Ah, uh, here we go. Vidi, Vidi, you delicious bastard. He says, I would my, I would my contacts with the synagogue and make her pump out babies and I'd sell them to Soros for foreskins and stem cells. Well, that's where I was going when I said she was going to be my abortion factory. I'd sell all the fetuses to the Clintons and I'd be rich. They feed on, uh, they feed on dead fetuses. That's how they keep Hillary alive. Well, I yeah. have read that drinking the blood of young people actually slows aging. And I was like, who the fuck did that study? How do they know that? That's an actual study? Yeah, it was on poll today. Of course. Of course it'd be on fucking poll. It, you know what? 4chan is like the least biased news source that's left nowadays. You kidding me? Okay, now Smiley has the right idea. You you pull that hoodie over her head like you're in a hockey fight. Disable her. Then you jam it up her ass. You see, Smiley is a romantic guy like me. He knows what's up. I, I, I think there's a lot more than that that you kind of glossed over. Oh, well, I'm, I'm trying to play the game. I would grab her hoodie, pull it over her head, grab her tits, suplex her, take off her underwear, shit into her ass. Then let her shit a poop-covered fetus into my asshole. I, I think I, nah, I think that's pretty accurate uh, to your kind of romancing. What was that movie where the little kids talking to some girls and they're like, "What kind of sex do you want to have?" And he's like, "I want to put my ass to ass with you and we'll oh, poop back and forth <laughs> forever." <laughs> yeah, I don't know what movie that's from, but it's it was really weird when. Uh, when the little kid like meets up and it's an actual the, the woman is like right there she looks like fucking velma yeah i've never actually seen the movie i've just seen the clip on youtube yeah and i've wondered can you actually do the move where you poop in her butthole and she poops in yours uh logistically speaking does that even work I don't think so, but I do have a gift of one girl shitting a dildo into the ass of another girl. It's a gif I have in uh, some, uh, kid, uh, some 4chan fucking uh, image archive. Well, that's just a girl being a good egg. She's sharing with her friends, because friends share and share alike. Oh, yeah. You gotta share that heaven titus, I tell you. Oh, it's like that old Reese's commercial. Hey, you got shit on my my dildo. You got dildo on my shit. Aren't we a silly bunch? <laughs> hey, TCS, if you want to, I can DM you the fucking gif. <laughs> if that's your kind of, uh, if that if kind of, that kind of tickles you pickle. Okay, so that platform was a complete bust. Nothing doing over there. And these should be locked, right? Because these lead up to the street. Oh no, what the fuck? Did I come from here? Yeah, I did. Okay, Ask the other one will be locked. TCS. And a oh. gif of two horse pooping is your reward. Okay, now we now we actually have to ban TCS because he he's a he's a fucking uh Bundy and he has a fucking Discord filter on, you fucking cunt. Oh, it's okay. He's just trying to, uh, you know, secure the existence of white children and uh, create a future for them. Nothing wrong but with that. But I'm trying to send him a girl, a, a fucking gif of girls pooping uh, dildos into each other. Oh, by the way, uh, Lia motherfucking Liger. Wow, that's a long name. Yeah, I gave Derek that audio for his video that he put out today. Oh, by the way, guys, look up Derek on YouTube. He's a cool guy. He put out a video today. It was very funny. I'm in it for like a minute. I gave that audio to him like a month ago. He just finally got around to oh. doing it. I should actually look at his channel. 
Yeah, he's a funny guy. He does Second Life trolling videos. Every now and then I'll help him out by giving him a voiceover, some narration. I don't uh, play Second Life much, though. So where's the timestamp? Oh, I'm just a voice. And he put some weird fucking filter on it too, by the way, so you can barely hear what I'm saying. I don't know why I did that. I gave him a very high quality polished audio file. It's like, uh, you know, 30 seconds in, I think. Okay, this beginning makes me kind of want to kill myself. Oh, could you please do it on stream? I want to be on the news. Oh my god. Lobster Second handler dies board. on stream. Great. Oh, you're seeing the part where the people are doing the do? Yeah. I yeah. hate my life. He kind of screwed up, though. Halfway through, he forgot to censor one part, and he just second life dick and butt <laughs> just in the middle of his video. That's part of the reason why I don't do second life videos, because you just have to edit out so much. Dude. No joke, this motherfucker that's, that looks all buff, look a, like a fucking Chris, like a Chris Angel on steroids, he sounds like one of those fat nerd losers from like They Texas. always do, they're always truckers or they're nerds. And not like a tough trucker, like a 40 year old guy, or not 40, like a 60 year old guy, what am I saying? Just old and tired, but he's got a biker avatar even though he's never ridden a bike in his life. Jesus. This is terrible. <laughs> okay, finally, I think I can get out with this item right here. Yeah, that's what you guys were thinking of when I, I said the nutcracker. You actually use it to open one of the uh, the locked gates. Hold on a second, I have to deafen myself because... I yeah, definitely, it, it's exotic. Derek, not a fish. I gotta see this shit, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. In fact, everybody just tune out for the next 52 minutes and watch Derek's video. Why not? Oh, that's right, video games, I should also mention. Uh, he's not in the bad guys, but he's associated with them. They work together on quite a few things. Oh, there's a bum there. I never noticed that before. You should look up the bad guys. Uh, actually, if you go to my channel, they're in my uh, public subscription feed. They're really funny guys. I love that. Are you going to come in fast? Yeah, Derek has a really original delivery where he's just like really relaxed and understated. I'm dying. And it's great when there's just people in like animal costumes fucking each other. He's like, are you going to come fast? It's it's great because they can't really like get mad about it because they're 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 quote unquote ty uh, fucking in the middle of the goddamn sim and you just see Derek standing there watching. Them. <laughs> it's great. Oh, this is where I use the nutcracker, but I don't want to come here just yet. I'm gonna check out this upstairs spot. Yeah, in general, you can make really funny stuff on Second Life, but it's all about the other people if they want to cooperate. The last time I re-uploaded my Second Life video because it got deleted and I added, like, one minute to it, everywhere I went, people were like, you're empty here, we know your voice. <laughs> You've been here before. Even if I had a new avatar and I didn't say a word, they'd be like, are you empty here? I'm going to ban you just in case you are. I was like, fuck, how'd they know? Also, half the places I used to go to, there are all <laughs> gone. They didn't; those fuckers didn't pay the rent. Well, Theta, the reason that uh, Japanese games have you not being able to pass over knee-high obstructions is because the Japanese are very respectful of the uh, traditional order of things. Okay, they respect boundaries. 
You tell them a door is locked, they're not going to shoot the lock out. They're just going to be okay with it. Oh, and that's the next area going in there, but I don't want to go in there yet. Because I think there's items over here. In fact, let's make a save, because this might be where I get pushed on the tracks by a ghost, I'm not sure. Ooh, what's down there? Oh, where the f Oh, I've been here already. Okay. What happened was now that I opened that thing, the, the subway train arrived. It wasn't here before. That's the difference. <laughs> well, you know, video games, uh, I was trying to talk to that little fella yesterday during Jamaa's stream. Because they, he and his, like, two fake friends were really picking on poor little Jama And trying to get him to dance around naked with his cock hanging out. Really gay shit. And I was sending him PMs like, stop bullying Jamai. He's the only guy who's nice to you. Why are you picking on him? Didn't say a word back to me. I, I think he might have had me blocked. I don't know. I think it was one of you guys asking me today if I'm going to start stream sniping the little guy again. I don't think he plays any public games anymore. I don't know if I possibly could if I wanted to. Okay, so I was wrong. That's not the subway out of here. So I do have to go down here. Oh, wait, no, I have to go up. And that is an insane cancer, which is kind of like a, a visual metaphor for Heather getting fat in all the right places. And I don't want to go anywhere near him because he will fuck you up. I'm just going to let you guys take a look at him, and then I'm running... Yeah, I felt really bad for Jama yesterday. He was fucking crying on a stream. At one point, he's just like, you guys are just trying to make me look like a retard. And just rubbing his, his eye, and I felt super bad for the guy. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? What the fuck? I know I have to get on a subway, so going up is not the right answer. And I haven't gone to platform four yet. Or at least the game wiped my marks off the map for it. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, and I don't trust my autosaves whatsoever. They could easily glitch out, so I'm still gonna make a... It's gonna fuck up my score so bad at the end of the game, but I have to do it. I can't crash on stream and lose 20 minutes. That would just kill all the momentum. That's no fun. Oh, my computer sucks. Of course I said the N-word. I call everyone a ninny. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's a nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moments they died. The pain gets so bad that they turn to humans for salvation. Or they become not humans their lives. At such times they can possess humans. Okay, whatever. This, this is kind of setting up. You can get a bad ending. In, in New Game Plus, where you, you kill too many things, and the game... Uh, I, actually, I don't think I've ever seen it. But it, it, I think it ends with Heather killing Douglas. Uh, what uh, CPU yes. am I getting? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at an i7. I'm not going to get anything till Black Friday. Save a couple of bucks. I'm getting that. I, I don't know the name of it. Some new motherboard. And uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. DDR4. I oh, okay, Theta. Let's see if the ghost shows up. What were you saying, Sebastian? I'm sorry. 
Oh no, I'm just I just popped back in because I was I, I kind of got a little distracted listening to Derek talk about some dude kissing his daughter in the mouth and uh, <laughs> yeah. no, I, was, I gotta watch. I actually gotta sit down and watch that video when I get a chance. But uh, no, nah, I came back and you're talking about like DDR4. I'm like I'm sitting there like wait wait when was that out? No, oh, Dance Dance Revolution. You nerd. No, I I wasn't talking about that. I'm I'm talking about Ram. You jackass. Yeah, DDR4 has been out for a while, dude. What are you talking about? What? I didn't know that. I, I was I thought it was like DDR3. That was the latest so far. I think I currently have DDR3 in my computer. Yeah. My computer's 11 years old. All I've switched out on this thing is the, the power supply. I got a 700 watt in there. Oh, come on. Fuck this subway thing. And uh, my graphics card twice. It had some crappy integrated thing, and then I got... A GTX 460 an hour, Radeon 380. Nice. Uh, Mighty, you are absolutely correct. Uh, poor Jamar. He doesn't realize that they're not his friends. Wait, there's the VR chat daily dose? Wait, what? What? What are you talking about, boy? Pause. Oh, he's thinking out loud. Oh, game, where am I supposed to go? What are you doing? Yeah, I've noticed that the people who hang around BritBong tend to be like... <laughs> I, I guess calling them a scumbag would be giving them too much credit. But they're, they're not like the sharpest bunch. And they tend to pick on really soft targets like Jama. And look, Jama's not a cool dude. He's not a good guy. He does some fucked up shit. He's he's reported this channel in the past and all my Twitter stuff. But you know, he's he can't help it, he's retarded. Those guys aren't retarded, they're just jerks. Oh no bone man, I am playing the PC port with an HD patch. And any of you that want to get this version, uh, there's two torrents for this one to skid row and there's no password for it you can put in skid row you can put in a bunch of other shit you'll never unlock it the one to get is silent hill 3 dvd make sure you put dvd in the search engine and you'll get the correct one and then after that applying the patch is pretty simple you just drag and drop a couple things ah uh, where the fuck am i supposed to go game please i have no idea what i'm doing All right, I'm hoping that sound effect means there's something going on down here. Please? Game? I mean, shit, let me think. I've been to, I've been to four recently, right? And this is one and two? Oh, this is three and four. Okay, there's nothing down here. I gotta go to one and two. Because one of them has my fucking subway that I need to get out of here. This is driving me insane. Mmm. Let's load my quick save. Get back out of here. Alright, so that's platform three across me. There's nothing there. Hey guys, do yourself a favor, do not look up the naked Jama Fortnite dance, okay? You'll never be able to look at a bag of wet laundry again <laughs> quite the same way. All right, um, I guess I can do platform one and two. 
Oh, for fuck's sakes. What? Uh, I I came back. Look, uh, I came back to undefin and unmute myself, and then Rope Man decided to post some gnarly shit. No, no, bad, bad. He's a bad boy. Wait, hold on a second. Did you say ban for a day for that? Uh, I leave that to your discretion. I I can't see what he's doing. Bad rope man. No. No. That's a bad rope man. He can, He posted toilets and and the girl. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, tub girl. No. No, it was a girl that was a toilet. Apparently, the toilet was like her guts or something. It was like a lot of tomato sauce. Uh, okay, sure. Why not? I, I, I don't even know. I, I wasn't even sure how to process it myself. You see, Rope Man just can't contain it. He's, he's a lover. He's got that passion. Poop in my abdominal cavity, daddy. Oh, shit. But he's only been kicked. He can come back. Okay, any of you fuckers know where the subway is? This is driving me insane. I thought you were in the subway. No, no, I- well, yeah, the, um, the subway car. Oh. I am, uh, somewhat hopelessly lost right now. But you've played this game, like, ten fucking times. Yeah, but I'm on hard riddle mode, and that mixes things up, and I- I'm not really remembering what to do. Uh, we're probably gonna have to get broke man, why babe? Or dunked on nerd. Okay, I just went to platform two, so let's go over here and go to one. But I think the map showed that it was blocked. And if that's the case, I might be farted, fucked, flipped, flart. Yep, okay. Can't do that. So I think I do have to get to one, because that way's locked. So... Shit. I don't know. Somehow I'm on three. How'd I get to three? You know, one of these had it where I could walk across. That's probably the one I need to go back to. Wait, Brett Bong posting on fashion? That's probably where he got the ideas for that dress. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sewed it together out of his mom's scrunchies. It hey, adhered I'm together good. with cum. No needle and thread allowed. Or needed, I mean. Well, considering if he could build a, a dress that looked that good on him, I guess, sure. Oh, you thought it looked good on him? <laughs> Saucy boy. Sexy little boy! I made his titties really pop out. Did it make your PP jump? Nah, because I still saw the beard. Also, he's like half my height. Did you ever hear that joke about the pilot who's an anal rapist? No. All right, so there's a guy who's, um, he, he wants to parachute jump for the first time. And he signs up for a course with all of his friends. And uh, all of his friends, they get in line, and he's in the last in line. And uh, one guy goes, oh, I'm the king of the world. And he jumps off, and he pulls his parachute, and he's fine. And next is a girl, and she's like, oh, I'm the best. And she jumps off, and she pulls her parachute. And then when it's the guy's turn to do it, he's scared. And he doesn't want to jump. And so the pilot puts the plane on autopilot, and he goes back to the cabin, and he's like, Look, I know you're scared, but you really need to jump. And the guy goes, No, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. And the pilot goes, No, part of my job is to motivate you to jump. So here's what I'm going to do. If you don't jump right now, I'm going to rape you in the ass. And the guy pulls out his cock, and it's the hugest, shiniest, most luscious, uh, juicy cock you've seen in your life, right? Wow. The kind of cock you'd write home to mom about. And so, the next day, the guy is talking to his friend at a bar. And his friend says, well, did you jump? 
and he said, a little at first. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Ah, uh, you don't get it. No, I got it. I got no, it. No, it's too clever for you. You don't get the joke. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, he's the one who got it. <laughs> That's even worse. Oh, come on, game. Now, I know if I go down here, watch. Subway train to the face. Oh, fuck this game. Just, just... You just gotta fucking cross the fucking thing. I mean, come on. I think I have to go to four, which is, uh, I think I just turn right here. Go back upstairs and then go the other way. Although I will say this is a slightly less scary subway experience. At least there's no black people. <laughs> yeah, there are. You just can't see them. Uh, it's that dark. All right, Tyrone, she's coming by. Don't smile. Why not? Just see your teeth, boy. Oh. Yeah, it really should be over here, because I came over here, I read the note, and there was nothing down there. And I'm actually going to be a little pissy, because I was here like 20 minutes ago. And I, I probably missed something super obvious. Oh yeah, I saw that sugar. They are gonna, they're going to split 4chan into work safe and not work safe boards. Yeah, that's going to go super fucking well. It's almost like Hiroshima's destroying the site or something. But what he wants to do is to have work safe stuff on a separate board so that he can oh, have advertisers and make money. I mean, that's why he bought 4chan. Okay, I'm going to get hit by the fucking... I'm not even going to try. I don't want to get hit. Yeah, but you ain't going to make money on 4chan. I mean, Moot couldn't make money on fucking 4chan, and you know how damn hard he tried. Well, I think what they should do is just have, like, a Patreon for it. I mean, they'll, they'll get I shut mean, down. Well, but they should. Hey, while you think of that, do me a favor. Look up how to get the fuck out of here. I've, uh, I've already opened the thing with the nutcracker. This is really just... I'm, I'm going to become DSP in a second. Oh, come on! Actually, I think I've already become DSP. I, I walked right past some door. Alright, so you're in the... You were starting in Subway Tunnel 1, right? I've been into 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, go back to 1, please. Uh. Wow, what's over there? Uh, go back to 1. You're going to start from there because... Uh, I don't know where you are either. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... Even IGN's wiki's like, this area is the beginning of the most confusing portion of the game. Alright, so you run forward, turn right, and then go down the long tunnel. Turn right and go through the tiny door. Oh, the damn it. Yeah, this is this is what I was looking one. for. The one with the, um... With the goddamn grate on the floor. Yeah. And then you end up in boarding area one. Uh, oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop the... there. Stop there. I have to find a door, right? That's yeah, all I want to know. tiny door. Tiny door. Teeny tiny little itsy bitsy. You sure I don't have to go down some stairs first? Um, no, it doesn't say anything about stairs. It just says go down the long tunnel on the right. Oh, I might be in the wrong part of platform one then. Yeah. I'm in the part with the grate on the floor. There is no tunnel. Uh, start, uh, try to go all the way to like the beginning of the subway. And then you can start from there. Oh, no, no. There's uh, there's multiple parts to Tunnel 1. I just went down the... Um... Well, actually, am I... I think if I go down... It's just where that hobo guy was, right? Yeah, Where's Moot, Andrew? Right uh, Moot got a job working for Google, and they fired him recently. Wow, Moot actually worked? <laughs> he couldn't go to Mexico all day long. He had to... Finally buckled down and get a job. Actually, he left 4chan because of some girl who worked at Google, convinced him to, and to go work at Google. Yeah, and then she dumped I'm him aware. a week later. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened with Chris. Moot's kind of retarded, so... I mean, then again, he came from something awful. They're all fucking retarded there. I know, platform one, right? 
Uh, no, Subway Tunnel 1. Subway Tunnel 1? The first, the first subway, uh, like, the first subway map that you were at, when you came, when you first got into the subway. Oh, okay. Well, I'm way past that, dude. Uh, do, do a control F for Nutcracker. Alright, so it says run to the locked door and use the nutcracker. Uh, run forward, you'll be on the other side of the end. Take the nutcracker and get back up the stairs. Return to subway tunnel 2. Get there by going northwest from the stairs. Heather's at and up another set of stairs. A new set of double heads will arrive. So killer, avoid then. And then run to the locked door and use the nutcracker. The gate would unlock, so run forward and down the stairs. Okay, that's where I am now. Uh, run toward the train and head inside through the open door. On a bench are two boxes of shotgun shells. Run down the Got train that. car and you'll see the much-needed shotgun. Did that, yeah. Keep going. Get off the train and head north. An insane cancer will appear, but these monsters are blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's right in uh, front of me. Run north. run north past the stairs at the dead end. Head down the stairs nearby. Okay, stop there. That's probably where I fucked up. I went... When I saw him, I went up the stairs. I probably had to go down. Ah, oh, one little mistake. Okay, and I do not have markings on my maps for this, so I have not been here. Oh, that's so infuriating! I could have been here a half an hour ago, fuck. Alright, thank you, Sebastian. Yeah, no problem. You truly are a king among men. A fisher of men. A catfisher of men. Ooh. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> uh, now you realize. Oh, shit. Are you secretly not the Zabazian I've been led to believe? You're actually a sassy black woman? Ah, oh, shit. He found out. All right, everybody. We're going home. Shut it down. Oh, hey, man. If your frame rate's messing up, you should consider refreshing. Because I'm watching on my iPad and it's totally fine there. Uh, to be honest, the stream's not uh, streaming in 60 frames, so, I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. Well, you guys wanted this instead of Resident Evil 3. I don't know if it's going to get much better, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I mean, how about um, I'll save it and then turn the game off and turn it back on? See if that helps. Oh, fuck off, dog. I mean, it works fine. You should probably just refresh and stop being retarded. Oh, did I make it? Did I make it? Oh, okay, I made it. Good. Can I buy 4chan? Uh, you're, you're confusing me with Notch. He could buy 4chan. But he chooses not to because he doesn't want to lose all of his money. People always go, oh, why does not Notch do this? Why does not Notch do that? Because then Notch would be poor. <laughs> He's a smart oh, guy. Oh, actually, you know what, MT? You know what you need to play? Barkley, shut up and jam Gaiden. Ooh, I've heard good things. Oh my god, it's so fucking fun. It's great, dude. I'll tell you what, I'll put it up on the big board of games for the... Uh, the Patreons to vote for. Somehow I blanked on that word. If if, uh, if they don't fucking vote for it, I'll fucking stream it for you. Okay. That shit is a beautiful fucking game. I never I never finished beating it though, and I'm actually ashamed about that. You never it's... finished beating it? What are you, a practitioner of tantric? Barkley, no, shut up and gin. I have a backlog of of games that I should have finished, but I keep forgetting. You have a or... backlog. Oh. What, are you scratching your back with it? The log? It's, I'm scratching my back and three other people's back. That's that's how big the backlog is. Okay. Okay, guys, how's the uh, FPS for you now? Because if it's bad, I'll uh, turn the game off and turn it back on. But I'm looking at it and it, it you know, looks okay. Oh, let me uh, see if I can die doing this. Man, I tell you, I remember when I was playing... Uh, oh, shit. 
I remember there was like one part and there was like Wilford Brimley and I think you have to fight him in, in that game though. You have to fight Wilford what are you like four sweet rolls down his throat? Uh no, apparently he's hooked nah, apparently Wilford Brimley's like hooked up to this giant machine that makes insulin for him. And or and actually no, it's either that or pumps diabetes into him. I cannot remember. Uh, we have to reverse was. the polarity. Put more diabetes into him. I gotta fucking I gotta play that game again. That shit was great, but it's not a short game. It really is. No, if it's like a forty-hour indie game, I don't want to play it. Oh no, it's not a forty-hour indie game. It's it's, but it's an RPG maker game. It's not something you have to pay for either. It's it's a four chance. But it's so much fun, and and the story actually makes sense. I, I know it's I know it sounds weird, but the story makes sense even though it's like full of weird memes and shit. Well, I'm kind of a a writer of odd stories. I think I could appreciate it. Yeah, you gotta get like magic B ball and shit. You get an atomic dunk that destroys an entire fucking city. I'm trying to figure out what's the quick reload button. I can't do it on my. Thing, but maybe on my keyboard. Nah, nothing. Damn. Because there's about to be some fat cancers up in here, and I don't want to get fucking dicked by them because I'm reloading. Uh oh, I guess you can't reload in. Wait, what? Oh, there's there's a way to do it, but my um. My controls are so fucked up. Like Shinji, they're they're so fucked up. Oh, uh, what's the equivalent of R3 for you? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Well, it's, yeah. it, would, it would be R3. I, I do have R buttons. You know, R3 is your, your right analog stick. I know that. That's why I said R3. I, I kind of figured you would know what that is. <laughs> okay. Uh, supplies? Is that code for, um... I think so, yeah. I think that's what that is. I was thinking when I looked at that, maybe it was a healing thing, and I don't want to waste my healing items. Alright, let's see. Oh, no, it actually, that was a menu button, but that works too. Actually, that's really convenient now that you know that. Well, it wasn't before I just set it to be that. Oh. Here's a big boy. Um, Juke! Ah, he got me. Damn. Uh. You think those monsters gotta sit there waiting for Heather and they're, and, and like the small one looks at the big one and goes, Hey, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we like smelled the inside of, of Heather's boots? Ah, ha ha. <laughs> what would that even smell like? Why are you doing a Yoshi meme? Wait a second. What? That's a Yoshi meme? Yeah, in 4chan, people post pictures of Yoshi and they're like, You ever wonder what Yo- You ever wonder what Yoshi's eggs smell like? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny to smell his eggs? God, aren't we just silly fellas? <laughs> That's a thing? I- No, I don't- No, I don't want to know. Yeah, what? You don't want to smell Yoshi's eggs? They come out of his butt. I I don't want to know. Jennifer Hepler, no! You'll see it in a second. Get the chat talking about fucking smelling Heather's boots. What have I done? I want to fill her boots up to the brim with pee. And then force her to put her feet into it. She's just crying and putting her feet in my stinky asparagus pee. I'm gonna put bay lesion in Heather's boot. I'm gonna put it in the boot and drink it. I wanna fill her boot up with hard-boiled eggs and make her eat them all. Why are um, you doing this? You have to eat all the eggs, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt my neck doing that laugh. It's not a Yoshi meme, it's High School Kamardi. You know, I haven't, I've only watched like that series like once. I don't remember where they mentioned anything like that, but okay. 
Oh, this area sucks. If it's what I think it is, it's just like... A bunch of, um... Just halls that look exactly like this. Yeah, sewer levels in Silent Hill games or in any game suck. I don't know why they keep putting them in. Because it's spooky. Sewer's no, it's spooky. not. It's not spooky. Oh, Andrew Tucker, I have a Down Syndrome neck. My head looks like a traffic cone sitting on my neck. Oh, he has no neck. I've been on the stream with a man with no neck. And I said, what the heck? Something like that. Woo! He totally whiffed. In the desert, you can't remember your neck. Cause there ain't no one for to give you a heck. Sha la 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 la. La la la. La la. I. Did I come from this way? Yes. No, I didn't because I. This guy wasn't here a second ago. Oh. I have like a hundred bullets, so I can kill a couple of these guys. There's gonna be a million of them. And. <laughs> I'm having a kind of a rough time with this camera, so I don't want to leave them you know, all alive. You know, everyone's talking about eating Heather, eating eggs out of like Heather's boot or something. I just yeah, why not? Realize. Okay, so get this. Now, chicken chicken eggs can be considered like like abortions, right? So okay, why don't we just cut out the middleman and just eat uh, Heather's abortion out of her boot instead? No, no, you you do like Japanese uh, cat stomping porn. <laughs> you put the the fetus in her boot. And make her walk a mile in it until she gets corns. And then you lick her little toesies. Mmm. Oh, by the way, guys, I got that mall. Thing fucking sucks. It's worth well, it'd be a good cushion, though. I mean, like, you have, like, a soft fetus body inside of a boot. I mean, that that's like a massaging soul or something. Well, the real sociopath option is to stuff it back into pussy and then fuck her. Stuff it, stuff it back into her uterus with your dick. Oh, they're calling you out. Uh, yeah, chicken eggs aren't abortions are not fertilized yet. Unless you're Korean. Koreans eat fertilized chicken eggs. Uh, no, it's Thailand, not Korea. Uh, they're called Beilut. Or no, Bay it's Philippine. I mean, I'm not stuck up. I guess I would try it. <laughs> if I was trying to bang some Taiwanese chick and her, her grandma made me Beilut. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, Beilu eggs are literally just underdeveloped chickens that are boiled. It's not really that bad. It's it's just like an egg, you know? Except it's a chicken and not, you know, like, the yolk and shit. Well, I believe that Jeremy, chickens begin out. at conception. Okay. Oh, I really well, need a map, but I don't have one. <laughs> Well, well, TCS, I know it's not just Filipino, but it, it's most popular in the Philippines because everyone fucking talks about it being Filipino or Indonesian or whatever the fuck. I, one of those islands. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of items or I'm just running exactly where I need to go by mistake. You, you got the shotgun, right? Yeah, I got the shotgun. Oh, okay. Just make sure. I just mean in this general area. All right, I need a Coke bottle oh. and uh, some gas. Right? Unless because I have it on hard difficulty. Maybe I got to get some additive too. I don't know. No, you don't have it on hard difficulty. You, you keep saying that and you're like, oh, wait, no, it's not hard difficulty. No, no, I, I have it on. There's hard action mode and then there's riddle difficulty. Two different oh. settings. I definitely have it on normal difficulty for action and hard for riddles. Alright, straight ahead work coming out of there. Let's find out. Vicar, I don't think that's a delicacy. I don't even think that's a thing. Maybe in Japan. Oh, what are they? Tampons? Is that what he said? Uh, he's like, isn't there a delicacy in China or some slanty place where they soak a hard-boiled egg in the urine of the young people? Yeah, they might. In California, they have this delicacy called um, the cream pie. You get a bull from a ranch, right? And it has sex with your wife. And then they let the cum out of it. Isn't there like a, a fucking porn? I forgot what the name of it was. It's not Bugatti, but... It's similar, like, where they give this Japanese girl, like, a wine glass filled with semen. 
and she just drinks out of it like she's like yeah. some sort of refined whore. Thanks to 4chan, I do know what the word gokun means. That's the That's fine Japanese is. art of swallowing jizz. Kids, ask your moms. Mm. They'll tell you all about it, okay? Yeah. Hey, mom, how'd you pay for us even though you didn't have a job when I was a kid? Son, remember all those times you wanted to give me a kiss and I said, don't kiss mommy. Her mouth is ooky. Oh my god, anyway. that's real? Oh my god, that's fucking real. Dude, where the rope, man? What the fuck, dude? Oh, I don't have the bottle. Damn. Alright, hold on a second, hold on a second. So, virgin boy eggs are a traditional dish of Dongyang, Zhejiang, China, in which eggs are boiled in the urine of young boys who are presumably presents, preferably under the age of 10. Named Tong Zidan, the dish translates literally to boy egg and is a springtime tradition of the city where the urine is collected from prepubescent peasant boys. The eggs have been listed by officials in China as part of the region's local intangible cultural heritage. Hey, are you drinking that little boy's piss? No, it's cultural tradition. Bakagaijin. Stop or making fun of our wonderful culture. You jealous because all you have are hamburger and hot dogs. Uh, Ruger Dead Round Eye, he don't even put PP in his coke. I, I, they think it's I, a joke. This. Go ahead. I, I don't understand why. Why would somebody boil eggs in piss? Because they're gay pedophiles. Oh, well, I guess that, that's the simple Hey, Sherlock Holmes. That whole thing about me, Chinese, me play joke, me put PP in your coke? It's not a joke, they actually do it. They can fit it through the bottleneck. <laughs> Just snake it on in there. Yeah, that's, that would make sense. Alright, so... I'm kind of boned because I don't have what I need to get that gas. And that other room over there does not have it either, so I gotta go back the way I came. And I don't have a map. You know what? Actually, I have a, I have a China joke. Alright, so... There's this, there's this white woman that... And I went to a doctor and was like, I want a yellow baby. So the doctor's like, all right, so uh, you got to go and you got to have sex with this Asian man. So she goes and she's fucking this Asian man. Nine months later, she pops out like a, a yellow baby. And, and she goes, wow, that's amazing. How did you make the baby so yellow? He says, me Chinese, me do trick, me slathered mustard on my dick. Huh. Okay. <laughs> that's an awful joke. It is. That was terrible. It is. But it's not mine, so I can get away with saying it. You know, uh, I don't know about you, but I grew up with dead baby jokes on, on the back of the bus in middle school. Okay, so there's there's a woman who's it's nine months, and uh, it's time for the baby to come out, and she's with her husband at the hospital, and she's giving birth, and the husband's in the waiting room holding, uh, holding a doctor's hand because he's so nervous. And the doctor comes out and he's holding this beautiful baby boy, but he trips and he goes, whoa, 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 and he drops the baby. And he, as he drops it, he puts his elbow out and he elbow drops the baby right on the head. And as he gets up, he slips on some blood and he falls down and he puts his butt right on it and squishes it. And then as he's trying to get up, he keeps stepping on it by mistake. And oh the guy goes, God. oh my God. Oh my god, what's going on? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! And the doctor goes, oh, I'm just fucking with you, it was stillborn. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I know a similar joke. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. So, uh, a husband's wife is in the hospital. Doctor comes out with a solemn look on his face to the husband. He says, I have very bad news. Your wife will never be... Uh, your, wife is a ve your wife is a vegetable. You'll have to take care of her every day. You'll have to clean the. You'll have to replace her call, uh, her call to me bag, you, and, and make sure that whenever she wets herself, you gotta clean her. You have to bathe her. You have to feed her. She will never be functional as as a normal person ever again. And uh, at the at hearing this, the, uh, the the husband starts crying uncontrollably. The doctor says, ah, "I'm just fuck with you. She's dead." Yeah, I knew that joke, but I don't want to step on the punchline. I like that joke too. Yeah. I wish uh, I had better delivery, but I keep uh, fucking stirring like a retard. So here's a joke I just came up with. Tell me if it's good. You guys in the audience, tell me if it's good too. Michael J. Fox is at the hospital with his wife. And they're going to have a kid. 
and his wife gives birth to the baby and she, the doctor is holding the baby and he's about to hand it to Mike and Mike says wait hold on I, I can't take that baby just yet and his wife goes oh I know why we have to name it and she's like should we name it Bob or Jim or Tom or Dave or Anthony or Carmichael or Tyrone or Jerome or Angela and Michael goes it doesn't matter I'm just going to drop it <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got it. I got a simple one. Michael Jack uh wow, not Michael Jack. Michael J. Fox uh tried opening up an ice cream store. Uh you hear about that? Unfortunately, uh the only thing he serves are shakes. Oh. Yeah, it's fucked. Well, I thought you were gonna do the joke that I kind of just took off on where it's like he goes to the ice cream parlor and the guy who owns it's like, Oh, would you like some Rocky Road, or some vanilla, or some strawberry, or butter pecan, or root beer, and he goes, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to drop it. <laughs> That's right. That's why I got that other joke inspired from. Hey, anybody in the chat, where the fuck's my Coke can, huh? I should be able to just drink some of my health drink and use one of those bottles. All right, but this game isn't that here's, clever. Here's a Michael Jackson joke for you. What does Michael Jackson and cheese have in common? They both come on little white crackers. Oh, you didn't even give me a chance to figure it out. Damn you, Sebastian. Sorry. Hey, why did Michael Jackson go to Walmart? You heard little boy's pants were half off. No, because he wanted to buy some shoes. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, finally, I found the bottle. You just assumed the GCS worst about people. is probably right. MT, you're going to have to get the Coke bottle out. Or Coke can. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, uh, you didn't read chat? You know, guys, uh, the last time I tried to snort coke, I had to go to the hospital because I got the ice cube stuck in my nose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, apparently the bottle was, like, in the first area, and I just walked right past it because I'm stupid. But now we're back on track. This is where I got the mall. That I'm not going to use because it sucks. But okay. How does Michael Jackson tell time? He reads the little hand and the big hand on the cock, I mean clock. Oh no, you get, the joke is, what's Michael Jackson's favorite time is when the little hand touches the big hand. Touch the big hand? Yeah. Oh, am I dead? Am I dead? Get up, get up! You thought- Okay. Sugar 7 Chan doesn't exist anymore. What are you talking about? Oh, is that like a, a wink wink, nudge nudge kind of thing? No, I, as far as I know, 7chan hasn't existed for like 10 years. Uh, my favorite ice cream flavor is dick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's my answer. That was a Dave Chappelle thing. Hey, yo, Maury, my favorite flavor of ice cream is dick, yo. Oh, really? I have a festive treat for you, little girl. Come with me, and you'll be... Licking both of my sweaty testes. <laughs> See, girls like it when you sing to them. You ever sing to the girls, Sebastian? Just floosh. Floods the room. You remember the last time I tried to sing on this stream, right? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't sing to girls. Trust me. Oh, did I go all the way back the wrong way? What is this? Why am I getting stairs? Walked it. I went all the way back. Damn it. Oh, I should have saved after picking up the bottle. I just know if I reload to an earlier point, I won't have the bottle, and I'll never figure out how to get it back again. Oh, yeah. That's right, TSCS. Uh, that one guy... Yo, MT, you remember that one skit that Dave Chappelle had with the blind black guy who thought he was a white supremacist? Yeah, Tyrone Biggins. Yeah, he's going to fucking KKK and takes off his goddamn hat and, like, everybody just stands there staring at him. He's like, "Wipe out!" My favorite part was he left his white at his wife at the end because she was a white lady, but he left because she was a nigger lover. <laughs> yeah, that's just funny. Oh, come on, you. Let me through. All right, I can go this way. If it's not here, I'll go left. And if it's not there, I'll go through that blue door again. 
All right, so let's go listen. So we're gonna hear some preparation for some delicious hard boiled eggs. The dish is prepared by first soaking the eggs in the urine of young boys. The urine is sourced locally by each vendor. Yo, empty. Do you do you look? Do you make sure that you get some uh, fair trade, locally sourced, homegrown boy urine uh, when you go out shopping? Uh, actually, I just I get my own. I bring a long spoon and I go to the urinals and I just wait for them to do their business. I think that's the same thing, ain't it? I just hope like Doctor Smith, and I go, dear sweet boy, give me that sweet nectar. Ooh, the pain, the pain. All right, let's see here. Then they heat the mixture over a stove. After boiling, the eggshells are cracked around the entire surface of the egg, and then the eggs are placed back into the urine. But you know what? Urine is What's this dish what? called? Uh, virgin boy egg. You know, in America, it's called cream of some young guy. <laughs> a little bit different. It, it's literally just curing the eggs in urine. It's they, they said it's similar to century eggs and wait, what do you mean modern culture? Wait, what do you mean widely accepted? Yo, what the fuck? 2018 everybody, I'm done. Well actually the trick is that um Japanese people are just dumb and they think that you're supposed to pee in the woman's pussy. <laughs> so it's a metaphor of peeing on the eggs of the this woman. Isn't... This isn't Japanese. This same, is, uh, same fucking thing. Well, are you Japanese yeah, or Chinese? I'm Laotian. You're from the ocean? Okay. <laughs> so are you Japanese or Chinese? All right, please be the right spot, game. I think it is. In fact, I'm gonna make a save. That's right, guys. If you love a Chinese girl, pee in her butt. Not only will she love you for it, but she'll make a delicious little appetizer for dinner. So, apparently, uh, according to Wikipedia and their wonderful non-Jewish uh, writings, apparently these uh, urine, little boy urine eggs can, be treat, can treat heat stroke, promote blood circulation. Uh, yeah, to the penis. Uh, chronic asthma. Okay, thank God bad. I found it. Thank God I found the right room. You'd be better off just eating a tea egg. They taste a lot better and don't involve piss. Instead of a tea egg, you're having a pee egg? Ah! You know, I, I felt like that was gonna happen. It's like some fucking, it's like some, I bet you Bear Grylls must have visited China just so he can have a sample of their uh, wonderful delicacy. I've been off the trail for five minutes. Well, I better drink my piss. Oh, well, video games, he didn't guess that he was Laotian. He knew it because he, he killed Khan's dad and fucked his mom. And then he fucked his dad. It's not gay if you don't have shins. Okay? <laughs> Actually, uh, MT, you ever had a tea egg? With a tea, not a pea. Tea. Tea egg. I assume it's an egg soaked in tea? Well, yeah, uh, tea and, uh, five spice. It's a hard-boiled egg. It's actually fucking delicious. It sounds like vomit-inducing, but I'll take your word for it. I'll give it a shot. Well, it's not vomit-inducing. It, it has, um... Hold on a second. Well, it Let's sounds see. gross. You know, you're saying it's good, and it, you know, maybe it is. It doesn't sound good, though. This is where I just well, was, what... wasn't it? Oh, no, okay, well, good. Finally. Like, uh, the spice, uh, what it does is you use, uh, black tea leaves, soy sauce, and, like, different spices. Uh, what, you never had, like, I mean, it's not like a pickled egg. Have you ever had a pickled egg? Uh, not for a very, 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 very long time. Yeah. Did you just pee in the fuel tank? Oh, man, if Heather could piss gasoline, I'd marry her. Save so much money on transportation. That's kerosene, though. Uh, real uh, quick, uh, Hans, it's not gay to want to fuck Kaine, it's gay to want her to fuck you, okay?
I said the soy. I said the S word. MT. Uh, we're gonna have a problem. Oh yeah, why? Well, apparently when I say soy sauce, is is that me even still relevant anymore? I thought we were doing NPC now. Oh, they're doing soy. You're a soy yeah. boy. Yeah, somebody bought me some, like, I think they're called snow peas. And I was like, these things taste funny. Let me see what, what, what they actually are. And then I looked at the back, and no, they're soybeans. Nah, those things are fucking terrible. I could feel my breasts getting swollen and sensitive, and I wanted to talk about my feelings about how minorities are oppressed. I only had, like, three of them. <laughs> Nah, dude, soybeans are... I, I, I would never... Every single... Like, uh, my job sells, like, these fucking uh, salads that they uh, pre-make uh, or whatever. And one of them's like, oh, it's a power salad. It's, like, got ahi tuna in it, and it looks really nice. The problem is that they got these edamame beams, and I don't want to touch that shit. Or edamame. Oh, you ever get those, uh, the salads that's fried chicken and watermelon? That's the black power salad? <laughs> it's a little different. That's that's like the dumbest stereotype, by the way. Who the fuck doesn't like fried chicken and watermelon? It's delicious. Yeah, I nope. I don't understand that either. But you know, but yeah, picker. To picker's technically right. Like, there's a difference between like fermented soy and and just regular. But then again, you gotta keep in mind we're talking about 2018, where now e eating like fucking tofu dishes nowadays gets you bitched at. Well, what you have to keep in mind is, does your soy have little boy pee in it or not? No. It's only gay if it doesn't have the little boy pee. Alright, that staircase I just saved and left is I think where I'm supposed to go. But I want to go here first. Yeah. There's almost certainly some key item over here I have to get. Yeah, here's some stuff. There might even be, um, another weapon over here. Oh, no, wait a second. You know what's actually really good sometimes is, uh, fucking almond milk. No, it, it tastes nice, but there's no almonds in it, dude. Well, technically, no. I, I don't know how they make it. It's like this, it's technically almond juice, I guess. It's fermented gorilla cum. That's... <laughs> Oh, hey, there's, um... Is that Leonard? Or is that a crawler guy? I think it's a crawler guy, not Leonard. Leonard. Yeah, he's a boss from uh, the hospital area. Oh, we'll fight yeah. Him later. All right, this is the optional way. I should have come here first. Nah, real, real. No, no, no. Almond milk comes from almonds. You're talking about almond milk. Almond titties. Oh, no, look, they they had a lawsuit. The FDA tried to sue, or somebody tried to sue or petition the FDA to, to stop them from calling almond milk milk because they don't actually tell you how much almond is in it, and there's no actual milk. Well, no, they just call it, it's like soy milk. Soy milk isn't actually soy milk. Well, it's not actually milk. It's soy juice or some shit. But soy, soy milk tastes like fucking garbage. I would never fucking touch that shit. Yeah, look, don't drink the soy milk. Don't drink the almond milk. Don't even drink cow milk. Suck off a bowl. You suck off a bowl, you're going to get the real testosterone boost. Oh my right God. in your tum-tum. Okay? Is that is that how you became what, who you are today, MT? No, I was the bull. Oh, okay. Come here, little <laughs> girls. You got to get your protein. Chat, I, I think I don't think he's talking about literal bull. I think he means metaphorical. Yes, prep the bull. Moo, it's me. All right, last time I went left and that was the right way to go. I want to go right to what's probably going to be a dead end. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, okay. Let's just let's load. It. I can't be killing all those guys. Waste my shotgun shells if I try. I got a boss coming up in a minute. I I just fucking looked at a, a entry for egg. It, it was like this one called a soy egg, and I thought it was 
I thought it was gonna be like an egg that's not actually an egg. It's like a tofu, like a ball of tofu, but it's like no, it's just an egg soaked in soy sauce. I'm like, oh, okay. Any little boy pee? No. Then I don't even fucking care about it. Don't even tell me. Jesus Christ! Why do you keep telling me about? <laughs> And chat's on about me talking about boy pee eggs. Like, now you want it. No, well, like, you know on. what? I'm only talking about it because you brought it up. You're the expert. Okay, I'm going to die on purpose real quick so you guys can see it. I know nothing about fucking boy pee eggs. I'm just sitting there like shock and awe. It, was that Hans saying he wanted the tentacle rape, Heather? Well, there you are, my friend. Ready to shoot your goo. Uh, don't you, I thought it was like you don't actually die, you just get dragged by, um, uh, who, what's that dude thing? Oh, not Vatiel, no, you actually die right there. Oh. But no, this is not an emulator. On the PC version, there's quick saving anywhere. Which is very helpful, because this game has crashed a couple times already today. Damn it, TCS, I'm reading off of Wikipedia, fuck you. You go to Wikipedia a lot? Not really. I guess you could say you're a real Wikipedia file, huh? Ah, pun on the word pedophile. <gasps> real quick, every time I put my subtitles on, they go off. Are they still off? Okay, no, they're still on. Good. Although one time they were on, but we had Japanese language for some reason. Now, here's the question. How does she know to do that? Because, you know, this version of Heather didn't die. How the fuck did she know to do that? You think if you talk to those Jap those Chinese people, and you're like, well, do you want to drink some little girl pee? They'd be like, ew, no, yuck, what's wrong with you? They probably, they would probably do that. They'd probably bitch at me about that. All right, we're almost out of the absolute worst part of the game. It's really not that bad, I guess, if you're not streaming, but I am streaming. I'm just waiting till 9 o'clock to see if some weirdo pops in the chat. All right, I hear one of those annoying fucking wasp guys. There he is. Fuck, there's two of them. Don't hit me, you cocksucker, don't hit me. Oh, he phased right through me. Okay, good. God damn it. I hate those guys. They're annoying. They do a ton of damage. They're hard to avoid, and they don't even look cool. They look so stupid. Just keep running. Okay, Did I think... Know... Oh, go ahead. What? Did you know the Greeks, uh... They drank the little boy pee. Completely naked. For fuck's sake. <laughs> that's that's how I do sports. What are, you, what are you gay? Why would you drink little boy pee? No, no, I said I do sports naked. Oh. Well, you, you're never a kid and you're outside and you try to pee over your own head? No. Got some in your mouth? No. Because that's retarded. <laughs> what? You never tried to arc one over your head like a little monkey? Like the YouTube vid video monkey, and then go wash a cat in the sink. I have so many questions, Empty, about your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend, Dave, who for some reason, he liked to pee outside. And there was a bush right next to his front door, and he would go behind it, and he would just pee outside all the time. And one time his dad caught him and just grabbed him by the dick and yanked him into the house by his cock. Wait, he grabbed him by his dick? He could have grabbed him by his hair or no, no, no. his ear or... My friend David's family were Christian fundamentalists. And oh, if, if, that explains it. Like, his, his dad used to tell him the same thing that my uncles would tell their kids, which was if you play with it, it'll turn it into stone and fall off. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, guys, don't let me forget, there is a, a hidden item in one of these walls. And it's super easy to miss. Empty, there's a, there's a hidden item in one of the walls. Uh, no, you know what, Bouncy Wouncy Woo, if I if I made a little boy pee drinkers uh, roll on, on my Discord, it would attract people who want that. 
Yeah, let's, Ooh, let's I heard not. you drink pee here. Well, 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 let me sign up. Yeah, we don't need to attract any more fucking fur facts besides, like, myself and, and uh, the occasional weirdo that we get to make fun of. I think I might have already missed that thing. I'm not sure. You probably did. It's it's an item in a wall, and you just kick it. But you don't know. I haven't gotten there yet because you got to go all the way up, and then there's a mattress and a hole. Yeah, it's up here. I didn't miss it. This is like last night when I kept going. Oh, I'm gonna miss the chronocept piece. Oh no, I can't miss it. No. And it's like oh, you just get it from the last second to last boss for free. All that worrying for naught. It's okay, Smiley. It burns when I pee. It's I'm gonna mute real quick so I can fart. Right. Oh, thank God. Usually I do it all the time, I don't tell you guys, but I just I felt like announcing it this time. To share my enthusiasms. Yes, dear. Quite pungent indeed. <sighs> Line up for the breps, my boys. Yes. <laughs> Nice ketchupy mustardy fart. Yum yum. It's no mm, tea egg, it. but it's still good. All right, it's right here. Almost nobody sees us their first time through. You probably farted and smelled like little boy pee. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you keep talking about drinking it. You fart and the room smells like cum. It's like, wait a second, what? I don't think that's how that works. Well, not for me, it doesn't. N neither for me. Also, why are you trying to, like, shoot the fucking wall? I don't think that's how that works. Oh, you'll see in a second. Oh. Although, I don't think using the silencer is actually a good idea. It makes you do less damage. I just wanted to pick it up. Just to show everybody where it is. It uh, it makes it so that if you shoot something, their friends don't know automatically. But it's not exactly ideal to use. It's a trade-off. Same with anything in this game that you pick up. It doesn't look, it doesn't say anything about, uh, reducing damage. Oh no, it wouldn't tell you that. It just, it just does. Yeah, get, get on that mattress. I'll drop something in the whole heather, you fucking slut. Talking about my butthole. <laughs> A little bit different than what they were probably expecting. Probably Fire not the Fox. first time she uh, set up on a dirty mattress and brushed herself off. Well, what about Firefox? Firefox decided it was gonna fucking freeze on me. Thankfully, it stopped doing it, but okay. Oh yeah, Firefox has awful memory bleed. Yeah. I should the, probably restart it. The first ever stream I did, I had uh, Joaquim hook things up and... We had him and Mr. Medicur and Ralph Retort. Oh, he just spawned here. And the whole stream got fucked up because I had Firefox open in the background, I forgot. <laughs> it made everything wow. freeze up halfway through. Like, you could hear everybody just fine, but the stuff I had on screen got frozen. I wonder how long, it how long did it take before you guys noticed that? Well, I noticed it pretty quick, but it took, like an hour to fix because it was so frozen I couldn't even open up um, uh, task manager to shut things down damn oh come on well 
Well, I think as soon as you uh, start smoking cocaine, you're, long, you're no longer using cocaine. You're using crack. Alright, going right was a bad idea. Let's go left. Oh, come on, Heather, you piece of shit. Alright, somehow I got away with that without getting hit. Use Vivaldi. Uh, you know, I tried to, at one point, transition to using Internet Explorer. Because I really don't want to use Chrome. And, and I really uh, have so much love for Firefox because it was such a great big leap. And it got Internet Explorers out of the, the dark ages. But it's, it's just, it's slowly dying and they're, they're hiring people based on, you know, quotas, not on merit. And it's just gone to shit lately. It's really bad. They're probably making up for the fact that uh, they uh, put money towards Proposition 18 or 8 or whatever. Oh, the ban gay marriage thing in California? Yeah. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, I was going to make a joke about using Vival Vidaldi or Vivaldi or whatever the fuck it's called and like compare it to cheese, but I... Uh... Like, you know that uh, cheese that you use for, like, cheap-ass macaroni that's not really cheap because Vidaldi is, like, five bucks a box? Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's it's uh, that shit. I just use my cum. It's cum right on the macaroons. They love it. Must add, uh, must be a nice alternative to just adding meat to your fucking pot. No, I'm adding the meat. It's a different kind of meat. Hey, that thing's supposed to fall over. What the fuck? That's not meat, that's a protein shake. Oh, yeah, there we go. I thought there'd be an item here, never mind. Dang. Okay. We got the Easter egg anyway. At least none of us are using Chrome. Fucking enjoy your botnet. I, I'm sure it runs just great, but I don't want Google having more information on me than they already uh. do. <laughs> you know? One day I'm gonna want to run for Senate. And I'm gonna get a call from Google like, Ah, Goyim, think we didn't see your search results, Bubbler? Oh, Jesus, God. A dog house, but I don't see any dogs. Hmm. I have too many branching paths, I hate that. Wait, you can't make a decision on, on what you want to do? I don't know, it's just like, I gotta keep so many different things in mind. At least this area is not all cubes like the last two were. There's oh, identical yeah. cube hallways. That's why that last area is the worst in the game, because every area looks identical. Isn't it like, uh, shit, what's that movie where they put a bunch of cubes in a cube? Yeah, I love those movies, they're great. It's called Cube Cube 2, or, or Cube Squared, I guess. Or Cube Cubed. <laughs> and just Cube Zero. Is there one... Um, isn't there... I, I think one of the movies, like, it started off where it was, like, one guy escaped out of the cube, and they are like, oh, do you believe in God? And he's like, yeah, so they just fucking kill him. I think that was Cube Zero, actually. It, you know, it's been so long, I don't remember what happens in those movies. I just remember liking them. You ever get that with an old movie, you remember liking it, and you're kind of afraid to rewatch it in case it sucks and you don't like it anymore? Um, you know, I don't mind having an opinion change based on how old I am. I mean, obviously, if you reach watch a movie, uh, no matter how old you are, you're going to notice how cheesy it is. It's like when applause. you're a kid, you didn't like the taste of little boy pee, but now that you're an adult... You have refined taste. God. <laughs> you know, just rename your fucking stream to Silent Hill 3 stream with extra boy pee. You know, I, I was I was thinking of calling it the Fallout 76 Silent Hill 3 mod stream. <laughs> See if I could bring in more viewers that way. But then some dickhead would report me for false advertisement. And YouTube just has no sense of humor, so I get a three-month ban or something.
Yeah, that would probably be the case. Oh, by the way, guys, I now have my 1,000 times folded Japanese steel. I'll show them to laugh at my anime now. Those jerks! With the power of anime and God on your side, and I'll mean regular God, I mean the God that's in your, your belly right now. Berry-sama, Japanese God smiles upon you. For you, Raka the enemy. I should get more coffee, I'm about to fall asleep. Hey, out of curiosity, did they ever do anything with that seal of Metatron besides mention it in Sound Hill 3 and say how useless it was? Oh yeah, you actually use it in this game as a important item towards the end. Although I think it's actually, um, oh no, you're right, it's, it is worthless, it's the seal of Samael the second time. But I think it's the same symbol. Same symbol, but they just named it different? That's fucking dumb. Well, I think she might have been lying to you about what it's actually called. Or maybe Vincent's lying to you. One of them's lying. Alright, that's I mean, for the elevator. probably just Vincent. I think I used the screwdriver on one of these desks. Maybe this one. Ugh. Oh man, where's where did I use that fucking screwdriver? It's, it's a desk. Maybe not one of these. And that thing I just got is for an elevator to open that up. And I, I don't think there's an other world version of this area. You just kind of go from building to building till you get home. I feel like you haven't advanced the plot like one fucking bit. Well, there's not much to it. She has to get home and then dad's murdered. And then she just... She's pissy at Claudia. Well, Claudia is kind of an angry old bitch anyway. Oh, no, she's an eggless old cunt who's jealous of a young, fertile girl. All right, now the question becomes, before I use this on the elevator, I think it's one of these, is the thing I need nearby? Because I have that screwdriver and I think it's to get a rope that I need. Oh yeah, I need the, the screwdriver to get the rope to go down the elevator. So I only have half of what I need. I haven't gone downstairs yet though. So what I'm looking for is probably down there. Although I, you know, I can't, I started on the third floor, and I didn't explore the entire third floor, did I? So I can go back in there, and I can go down. Let's make a save, in case the game crashes. I'd rather not make any saves, really, just try to do it all in one try. That's a lot more fun, but, uh, the game's crashing. Fuck your 10 star. And not that I'm very good at the game. I just like attempting to have the challenge. Okay, these are broken. Let me just quick load. Not the walk back up. It's a pain in the butt if you do. And I think there were like three dogs out here, right? Okay, that's where I use the the thing. But I probably need to get the rope first before I can even try to use it. Ah, damn, where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Yet another visual metaphor. She's cranking open her pussy. She's just like waving her fucking arms in the air and like it just magically opens. Oh yeah, I I, I think that's a, a thing because I'm using the widescreen patch. I don't think you're supposed to be able to see her arms in that shot. Yeah. Okay, so I just have to find the room where the screwdriver goes, and then I'll be able to progress. And I don't think I've been here yet, right? Well, 
Oh, it's gotta be this door. Oh no, this is where you start, damn. That's not right. All right, well, it'll make uh, finding that a little bit easier now that I know that. That's how I came into this section, so I'm not gonna try that. It's gotta be one of these doors. If I had a map for this area, it'd be a lot faster, but I don't. Nah, no desk in here, shit. Oh, Chad is having a, a a very passionate discussion about Fallout 76. I've seen some footage of that game, and oh boy, I'm glad I saved my $60. Oh, this uh, is, um, this room right here is a trap. The dance studio, I'm going to make a save. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there. Hey, remember oh, no. when you could uninstall Fallout 76, except when you couldn't? Because oh, yeah, you have to buy it. <laughs> yeah, you had to buy it to uninstall it. That's fucking stupid. Okay, one, yeah, that's stupid. Two, I was wrong. It's not this room. It's another one. And three, we found the place where I got to use the screwdriver. So, we're moving right along. Yeah, that's the one thing they uh, integrated on and... and revolutionized for Fallout 76 was ways to make you pay for it. Like, you want to get rid of this hunk of shit? You better pay up, mother... Ooh, that was a wet burp. <clears throat> Motherfucker. Oh, there was a map there the whole time. If I'd just gone to this room earlier, I would have had this map. Damn it. Oh, Heather, you map avoiding thought. Okay, this is the room I was thinking of. With nothing in it, just a bunch of enemies, I can tear you to shreds. Uh, I think you guys mean 20 bucks for the privilege of a skin. You know, if you don't like it, just don't buy the game. I mean, of course, how are you supposed to know you don't like the game before you buy it? But the fact remains. You are privileged shitlords, okay? How dare you? I hope Todd Howard comes to your house while you're sleeping and steals all of your peanut M&Ms. I think you're mistaking uh, Todd for somebody else. Oh, you didn't know Todd Howard's like five foot two? <laughs> Seriously, he is? Yeah. He didn't know yeah, that? That's that's funny. Publicly, he lists his height as like five foot nine, but no, he's he's a little baby man. You never notice he's he's got a real high pitched voice too. Fucking it, Keebler elves, goddamn it! They put a lot of effort into this game, guys. Now I couldn't see over my desk to see what they were doing on the computers, but I took their word for it, and I'm sure it's wonderful. They call it Fallout 76 because that's how many inches of height he wishes he had. <laughs> Poor little feller. Yeah, I'm going to go get coffee because I'm about to fall asleep on the floor. God damn it. Okay, it's it's 9 p.m., but you take I, your time, okay? I know, but still. <laughs> you little baby man. Fuck you. I don't have my boomer drink. What, come? Boomer! Yeah, come. No! Yeah, I know, you're making a monster energy drink thing. And I was inverting expectations of it by saying come. Because I'm a clever boy. Oh, I think I need to come back here with some shit. Like three little panels. I like how the mental wellness building 
Or part of the building says, it says a bathtub and a toilet. No wall. Hey, you know what will help you feel better about your mental health? Let me watch you poop a little bit, okay, pal? Oh, they're just for display. Okay. Get over there and pretend to poo and I'll watch you. I knew it. Oh no! The bathtub's becoming a woman. Oh, I guess I was wrong. There is another world part of this. Okay. This is my last escape. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. Are oh, you enjoying those no, saucy screams? Not again. You naughty boy! Did she do this too? Oh no, it's not period day, it's womb inspection day. Close, but a little bit different. Oh wow, this is going super slow. I want to get out of this room and then save. There we go. Although that might actually be intentional. You going slow. This is a Silent Hill game, who knows? Oh, it's a little tiny little baby. Hey look, he's there with his mommy. What's not to like about that? It's not even spooky, it's adorable. Yeah, speaking of womb inspectors, that was one of them crawling around on the floor right there. Alright, if you want to know how to be a, a true fucking pimp, just pay attention to Vincent. Even though he's kind of a meth head, That's what you're he knows how to treat a lady. Isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Did you know she doesn't even suck dicks? Crazy old hag. She plucked her fucking eyebrows off, and her ass is flat and inadequate. <laughs> My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know oh, there's everything. Vincent. I just came back with some coffee and more chicken patties too. that I've gotten the then toaster. I really shouldn't on. eat those anymore, but... You don't know even that? That's why I, ho I hope the fucking coroners find you clutching you a chicken patty and a cup full of little boy pee. Not yet. Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. Why is it the boy pee? <laughs> God damn it. It was enjoy? boy pee that killed the beast. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Does this place get to you at all? I'm in a sweater vest of emotion. Me, right. ah! I find it most fascinating. Fucking Wii Wait! I'm not finished talking! 
I'm almost tempted to jump in uh, a VC real quick with somebody just to shit post for like a second, then come back. But I'm pretty goddamn certain one of them's a moderator, and sh and he'll like lose his fucking mind. Oh, what the little boy P server? What are you talking about? No, no, God damn it! Don't make this a meme. Hey, what the fuck is Oxydoll? I never picked that what? up before. I picked up an item called Oxydoll. What is that? Oh, it, uh, it's a liquid. Um, I don't fucking know. What's what is Oxydoll? It says it's you put it on cuts. Did you say little boy P? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a it's a laundry detergent apparently. Huh. I have no memory of ever using that. Which probably means the last time I played, I didn't pick it up because I didn't notice it. And I had to walk all the way back to get it. Oh, I just I just punched my microphone. Alright, so you use it in conjunction with pork liver and a match. Oh yeah, okay, don't tell me. Fire. I, know. I know. I don't want to spoil it for the guys that you have to use a pork liver, liver to make a fire. It's so gay. Uh, this note actually, it says, you are a faggot. Right? Find the holy one. Kill her, question mark. Oh, Oxidol is the medical term for a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Well, I had no idea. Now I'm going to light all my pork livers on fire. Yeah, all right. All right, back to the uh, the womb inspector. Hopefully he doesn't knock me down and get a good sniff. I hate this guy. Uh, you're talking about... Uh, Those crawlers, little... man. Those things are oh. a pain in the butt. Oh, no, the dog got me. Shit. Oh, it says six feet, two inches. Todd, Todd Howard, right? Yeah, Todd Howard is not six foot two. He's not six foot two. Ooh, I have no idea what floor I'm on. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Todd Howard is about five foot six inches tall, and he's a Taurus. I don't think that's a Taurus. I think that's more like a like a bull, uh, like a bull. Uh, what's the baby bull called? A calf? Uh, yeah, a calf. And Hideo Kojima was like five foot eight. And it's fitting because if he was taller, he'd have more calf. Let's come back to that. Okay, thank God I found a map. After struggling for a while, I, I found one. But this area is hell without it. Oh no, no. he knocked me down. Nope. Actually, you know what? No, it, this is right. Todd Howard is six feet. But you know, Todd Howard is most likely just clipping into the fucking floor. Yeah. Probably how he gets his inspiration for uh, all the uh, games he makes. Actually, he's six feet, but just not human feet. More like six hammer units. That's a thing. Or am I six taking, like... Six Lilliputin feet. Lilliputin. Alright, this is where I gotta mix all that crap together. So I need my pork loin. <sighs> I think you get the the lighter out of the soda machine. I might be thinking ahead to the prison area though, I'm not sure. This fucking beta YouTube studio looks like shit. Yeah, I keep trying to get used to it and I'm I'm not digging it. No. But we're gonna get forced into it anyway because ha ha ha, it's YouTube. They love just changing shit for the sake of changing it. I think it's like when four kids used to dub anime, they would just do ridiculous shit because they were getting paid per edit and they decided how many edits they did. And that's how I feel about the uh, coders for <laughs> for YouTube. 
And it's like, well, why'd you change that? Well, because I, I want to get paid this month. Just, just change it. Who cares if it works? Or if it's even better. You know, one thing they recently got rid of that I, I wanted to use was that you used to be able to combine old videos. Like, uh, I could take all four parts of my Resident Evil live stream and just instantly have them stitched together. And you can't do that anymore. Now, if I want to do that, I gotta download everything manually and upload it manually. It's a real pain in the butt. What's she looking at? There's something down here. I'm thinking that pork loin might be over here, but I can't see a fucking thing. Nah, I guess not. I think there's one of them under there. You think instead of Tiny Tim, it's Tiny Todd? Ugh. <laughs> Maybe Christmas time. I would have held on to that joke. Please, you have to buy Fallout 76 or Tiny Todd won't survive the cold. Bah humbug. I will not buy that broken piece of shit game always online. That's right. Fallout is a humbug. Let him die and decrease the surplus server population. <laughs> Alright, so all I need now is a fucking pork butt or something, right? Uh, yeah, pork something. Alright, I'm looking to see if I pork missed any doors. You need pork liver. Yeah, I know. I think I might have come to this part of the map too soon. I don't have it yet. You really emphasize the word come. No, you just hear what you want to hear. We you. hungry. We you. Yeah, you oh, gotta check the refrigerator. Yeah, I think I gotta go back to the elevator. I'm on the fifth floor now, so I gotta try some other floors. Yeah, yeah it's in the, the last floor. drop cafe on the first floor. Oh. Well, you didn't have to tell me all that. Oh, well, fuck you too. You piece of you piece of garbage. You trash. All right, I uh, I don't know what floor I started on. So probably this one, the fourth. Right. Oh no, I haven't been here, damn. All right, before I go to the first floor, I'll clear out a couple of these. Probably not much. Yeah, that's locked. I'll probably come out of there later. And that's locked. Okay. Oh, I can't look at that mod, Nihil, because I'm streaming, but I assume it's the Silent Hill 3 mod for Fallout 76. Yes? I have been here. Yeah, okay, fuck that floor. That's a dangerous place to be. Let's go down to the first floor. Well, you know, the problem with Bethesda is they just... They're really loyal to their employees, whether they're good employees or not. Like, they've had the same animation guy since Morrowind, and he's just terrible. Alright, I gotta pay attention to this, because this is a uh, hard mode riddle. It's very scary, very bad monster. Catch people and crunch them up with his big teeth. Oh, actually, I think I just have to uh, get to the part where she reads the line, Tu fui ai eris. We'll talk about that later. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck in the thad of the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned the Kenneth. The Kenneth eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha, take that. 
His sword slashed and his spears flashed, but the monster would not die. The monster tossed the knife into his mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but couldn't think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person and had a big fat floppy pussy. That's the side of the point. No. I have to find the last page. Yo, was that Mario on the wall having a seizure? Yeah, he's doing the Jacob's Ladder head jiggle. You ever see the movie Jacob's Ladder, Sebastian? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. All right, well, it's the movie that's kind of the basis for Silent Hill 2 and 3. A lot of the visual things you see are directly kind of plagiarized from it. Great movie. Has, like, one really bad scene where there's some crows on wires that's really obviously fake. But the rest of it's great. Anybody who likes Silent Hill, and I'm assuming you do if you're watching this, go watch Jacob's Ladder. It'll blow your fucking mind. Oh, there's my pork liver. Liver. <laughs> Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! And if you really like Silent Hill 2, check out the novella by Georges Rodenbach, Rouge La Morte, which is the kind of the great grandfather of the plot of Silent Hill 2. Dude, these guys are watching your stream. I don't think they know how to read. They don't, I don't know, how think I read. know how to read. <laughs> Get that learning book out of my face, boy. I told that teacher lady only letters I need to know how to spell is U, S, and A. The fat guys symbolize they're like breast tissue and, and breast cancer. I'm pretty sure I read the developers talk about that specifically at one point. Not Akira Yamaoka, the, uh, the, the design guy. Sniffing my cooch. It's really bad when there's two of them like that because they can chain stun you and then you're just dead. I looked out, he didn't want to smell my pussy enough. Oh, also, you guys should check out a movie called Session 9. It's a, a horror movie that's kind of really low budget, but a lot of the iconography from later Sanho games, like three and four. Oh, not a lot of it, but some of it is kind of lifted from that movie. It's a pretty neat movie by itself, too. Now, why she didn't just use the match on the painting, who's to say? I think you're supposed to combine the three together. No, oh, I got it. Where did you get the bucket, though? That oh, was there. Oh. I guess someone was puking in it earlier. How does that even create a fire hot enough to set a painting on fire? Yeah, the radiant heat. Who knows? Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's Lisa's mouth from Silent Hill 1. In that top image. I don't know what the ears are all about, though. You gotta listen, silly boy. And I think that's like a frozen Vatiel behind it. Kind of stuck in place. You should just die normal so they can see who Vatiel is. Because they're not going to know who the fuck we're talking about. Uh, I, when I get to the hospital. Because I don't know if it starts just yet. I've died before. It's only in certain places. Oh, let's let's finish our story. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up! I'm going to eat you up! The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said, but she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Oh damn, I thought that was the last line. Not just yet. Oh, come on, guy. 
Well, thank you, Mr. Dink. I'm not sure why Mr. Dink isn't doing his job, but I'm sure he'll chime in any second now. It was there he goes. <laughs> For them jokes. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Baba Booey, Baba penis. Booey. <laughs> it's a penis! Yes, we all are, uh, but students of the Howard Stern's penis. Oh, there's a sniffer under that bed, by the way. Okay, that's the way I came in. Like, uh, certain, uh, Dr. Forge, I like to know my way in and out. Alright, I gotta get... Is it a first aid kit? Yeah, I'm gonna grab that stuff, he's gonna come out. Oh, he got me! I was hoping to get away with that. Okay, this room is totally optional. Let me get the fuck out of here. Okay, good. If that door wasn't open, I would not have known where the fuck to go next. See my in the red? Oh, by the way, thanks for the five bucks, Mr. D. I didn't mean to ignore you. I'm just kind of <laughs> trying not to get my, my pussy sniffed too much. I don't even know why it hurts her. I mean, maybe if they were breathing into it. She probably gets damaged from, like, uh, emotional embarrassment. No, don't sniff there. I sneaky there. Why'd you make her sound like a little kid? Isn't she, like, 16? Yeah, but you made her sound like a real little kid. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think that was too young. That was a little more high-pitched, I think. Speaking there. of which, I've been, I've been watching a lot of, um, uh, To Catch a Predator lately. You ever watch that show? Uh, yes. I actually enjoy watching, uh, uh... I enjoy watching that shit. It's fucking hilarious. See the looks on their faces when they come in? There's this fucking grown man. Yeah, I always like... Baby's father. I always like when they try to explain themselves. Like, no, I'm here for a job interview. Like, I watch that show, and I watch murder shows, and I'm like... Y you know, I'm not gonna murder anybody or molest any kids. But this is just showing me how to get away with it. Just don't do what they're doing. Dude, have you ever seen uh, Speedo Sausage's take on Chris Hansen? It's fucking great. Ooh, I saw it, but I forget what it was. <laughs> it Perverted was justice. Expensive. Really good at <laughs> pretending to be sexy Pee -pee. children on the internet. Oh, yeah, he, he does it because he wants to fuck the old guys. Oh, thank you for the, the five PPs, Picker. In the battle of PP and poo poo, PP is is leading by a five dollar margin. I guess you could say Team Poo is getting the shit kicked out of them. You know, this game would have been over by now if you'd have just ate the fucking pill. Yeah, take the red pill, you dumb slut. What's the matter with you? God damn! Open up the fucking pendant already. Examine that shit and open it. All right, I got the life insurance key. <laughs> Where's that door? Wait, is it actually called that? Yeah, this this is an office building. It's got all the different kind of things. Huh, weird. Well, thank you, TCS. You know what? If you want, uh, it was very no, fucking dink. <laughs> Let's play spin peep it, while Zeb discusses his love for Chinese PP eggs. Yeah, uh, if you want to play Sven Kuop, I'm thinking uh, next week Thursday. Thanksgiving, not during dinner time, of course, because I'm going to be eating my delicious turkey, but maybe early morning or late at night, we can do some Sven Coop, okay? Just uh, DM me the details on Discord. Oh, thanks for the 20 bucks, by the way. I've never played Sven Coop. I mean, I, I, was, I looked it up. It's just like, a, I guess, a Black Mesa thing. Uh, my understanding is it's a puzzle-based Half-Life 1 mod. Uh, I can get the elevator. Okay. Oh, it's free. I mean, shit. If it's, uh, if it's co-op, we could... Yeah, it is co-op. Oh, it's only co-op. Yeah, I don't know if it's two-player or five-player or what. We could have to probably figure it out. just sit down and fucking play it. Yeah, it looked like it might be massively multiplayer. I didn't look too much into it. 
Nah, just this multiplayer co-op. Uh, Ooh. let's see here. I don't think I could beat it in one stream, though, on how long to beat.com. It was listed as being like 15 hours long. Let's see. 1,000 hours on Twilight Zone has caused me brain damage. 10 out of 10 would spend another 1,000 hours. That's the most helpful review. <laughs> okay. Oh, the door is uh, it's back here. Alright, where the heck is this? I have no idea where I am. Yeah, I do think my computer, as crappy as it is, can probably run a Half-Life 1 mod. No problem. Oh, yeah, of course. Actually, I think it's a standalone game. Well, I mean, it's the same engine, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same, uh, it's the same source engine. Oh, shit. Dude, stop it. You know, I probably gotta drop some beef jerky, so leave me alone. Oh, dude, I'm getting my shit pushed. Stop it. Stop sniffing me. So weird. Who sniffs? How can he sleep? How can she sniff? Oh, did I say slap? I meant sniff. Damn it, I'm so dumb. I blew it. Stupid, 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 stupid. Okay, I feel better now. Alright, what the heck? Oh, this is the last page of the book. All right, one more dramatic reading and the, the novel is finished. Although she reads the last line herself, I think. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the thought. She opened her eyes as she had done every morning of her life. Except this time, instead of seeing her father with an erection in the corner, she went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No. This time it is your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You cannot kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ergo aris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use the gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Alright, she's gonna read it. Fui ego eris. Fui ego eris, bitch. Basic Latin. What was that? It means I was like you, you will become like me. They used to put it on graves in the Middle Ages. The basic moral of that story is the priestess died, and, and having been touched by death, she now has a piece of it on her. And Heather, having died as Alessa, is now her own little harpinger of death. If you guys ever saw the Silent Hill movie, they have kind of a dumbed down version of that. Ooh, did they all die too? I think they did, that's nice. Thanks, game. No, no, wait, wrong way. Should be right here on the left. Man, where's the fucking janitor? It's like a mess everywhere. Look at all this period blood on the fucking ground. You know you say that just as soon as you said that, I stepped out of that area and back into normal world. Now, there's, there's going to be some delay before you see it, but I think for yeah. the audience, they're going to hear that just as I'm stepping out. All right, so that's the end of uh, Building World. Now we just have a very small apartment area. And then I think uh, the hospital, right? I guess there's a couple of Silent Hill streets. There's the amusement park. The hospital, and I think maybe a, a little school thing. Oh, no, no, it's the church. And the church has a little school in it. Okay. Now I'm remembering it. It's got my noggin a joggin. And, uh, after the stream, my cock will get a flogging. It'd 
before I go in the apartments, I think there's something over here. No? Okay. I have to come back out here later, maybe. Oh, so it's supposed to be two fui me eres. Well, excuse me. An omelette al fromage to you too, pal. Yeah, I was thinking, um, there's a dust shoot puzzle, but I think that's in Silent Hill 2. I'm thinking of the wrong game. Oh, let me look at her key. It's got her apartment number on it. Harry's a nice guy, but he's a broke-ass motherfucker. 102. Oh, I just went to 102 and she said it's not her door. 105, 104. This should be 102 right here, isn't it? Yeah, it says 102. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess maybe the second floor, instead of being 202, is also 102. It, it, it might be the key for another apartment. That's oh, no, because that's, um... No, it's her front door key. Oh, this is... I'm in the wrong apartment complex. I gotta go next door. That's why. Nice. Yeah. Clearly, MT is drunk. He, he went into the wrong house. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot a black guy for being on his own couch. Oh, game over. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, we finally got home. Dad, I'm home. Harry Mason from the first game series is going to keep us safe. Listen, something Everything's really fine. Crazy's going on. I think we should. Dad. Dad. Papa. Father. Praise Father. Praise him. Did they completely shit on this scene in that Silent Hill 3D movie? Uh, yes. Man, what no. an abomination that thing was. No. No. Lower? Lower? No, wait, actually, no, higher. What am I saying? Don't be afraid to put some boobies in it, honey. I'm not your real father. It's just a couple boo-boos. You gotta kiss it and make it feel better. Oh, are you guys crying? That's Harry Mason. That's the guy we played as in Silent Hill 1 a couple weeks ago. Wasn't he... Didn't he kill himself? Or he actually... He he got killed. No, you'll, you'll see in a minute. If you don't know, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Actually, what happened is he, uh, he insulted Tonka and he lost the wrestling match. <laughs> he was number 1,005. Did you do this? You're late. But why? Don't we all cry from our why? penis, TCS? I pooped for mine. Years ago uh, okay. It comes out looking like Look cookie dough. There's <laughs> a big colander of and cookie dough coming out of my fat us. dick. I chop it up and I bake it. <laughs> oh, are those chocolate chip chunks in those cookies empty? Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> sure, it's chocolate chips. Don't worry about it. When you got chocolate chips growing around the rim of your vagina, honey, it's just, it's delicious. Don't worry about it. Mmm, it's real gooey. No, I'll never oh, please don't do that ever. Ugh, sorry. That was just... <laughs> and your true self as well. Listen, with all the shit that we've been dealing with this stream, me, me doing one little inflection in my voice ain't gonna ruin it. I know, but it kind of gave me a, a half rod. I'm not enjoying that. <laughs> He's the one who killed your father. Why didn't she just shoot her in the fucking head already? Because she's incompetent. All right. I'll be waiting where all Oh no, bouncy, bouncy, woo-woo. Her, uh, her big thing is that 
Heather is supposed to birth a god, like Alessa was supposed to at the end of one. And they want her to have a heart full of hatred so it can be an evil god. Oh, and I forgot to save before this, and I can't save now. Well, it's not like it's evil gods, just that the god's supposed to be birthed with, uh... Oh, yeah, hatred anger and, and hatred. That's yeah. right. Yeah, uh, for the god to be birthed properly, instead of, like... It's an Old uh, Testament just, god. <laughs> yeah. Did, I thought you said a hotkey to just open up your menu, what the fuck? I think the last time I killed this guy, I used the, um... The katana, but I'm on a stream and I don't want to take a million tries to kill it. I can't see him. Where is he? No! Okay. Oh, I forgot you had to get behind him. I think he's right-handed, so if you juke him on the left side, he can't really get you. Oh, I got greedy. He got me on the wake up. Cut a hole in the bottom of my tub of possible Elder Scroll 6 games so when she reaches in, she accidentally grabs my 74th Skyrim remake. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, my dog's trying to get in. Oh, now, now you come crawling back, huh? You got an itchy head? Yeah, scratch it yourself. Then don't say anything. I'm just kidding. I'll give a lot of love until later. She's a good dog. I'm fine. So just get out of here and leave me alone already. But I need you to help Calm me finish down. my book report. Just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead. He's murdered. Get I think out. this would be funnier if he was in his underwear, actually. This is all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Like no joke. Oh, it's it's not supposed to be funny right no! now. I know. That's why it would be funnier if he was in his underwear. Yeah, basically he's wearing everything he's got on now, but his pants, and he's got a little heart underpants. Kind of <laughs> like the guy from Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, okay. The the classic uh, heart boxers. You okay yeah. Like this? Well, before I go, I gotta remember to get the um. The the stun gun and I think maybe there's some bug spray. Decent burial. They both suck though. They don't do anything. <laughs> Why do you want to pick them up? <sighs> oh, you get a better score for getting uh, all these things. Yeah, but you already fucked up your score saving so many times. I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah, well, that's a necessary evil. I'm just gonna balance it out. Yeah. And you know, not everybody knows where these what things are, so it's a little little bonus for them. It takes all two seconds. I'm going to Silent Hill. Well, who's What's Hill, and why, are, why don't you want them talking? <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, it's a place. Oopsie. Hopefully there's some conditioner it's there. So. Dry-haired thought. It isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. Oh, you know what, TCS? I did uh, try out God or for a voice acting job at Bioware. They had an open casting call for Dragon she Age Inquisition. They never got back to me, though. Jerks. I figured I'd help myself out. I sent a headshot Can of some fat her? black shemale. I was like, oh, this is me. I'm a, a trans person of color and I'm crippled. But <laughs> they never got back to me. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, oh, Jared, you just I'm have low standards. Do. I'm really a jerk. How do you get there? None of your business. Well, TCS, my idea was I would get into their shitty game, and then I'd use it as a credit when I put it on my books, and then they'd be they'd be forever tied to Europe and Europe too. 
I'm partly responsible. The most social justice -y company in the world tied to those books. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. Ooh, my dog got in. That's Hello. fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Oh, you know what? You guys want to see a little <laughs> a weird thing you can do that you really shouldn't be able to do to your dad's dead body? Oh, no. What? <laughs> Fuck you, Harry, you piece of shit. Dumbass dying motherfucker. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, I was expecting, like, blood to splatter all over the place. No! This isn't that kind of game. That would've been pretty fucked up, though. Ew, Harry's got, like, blood in his toilet. Well, it's what happens when you're old. You just, instead of peeing urine, you pee blood. Really enhances the flavor of them eggs. Makes them, um better for uh, people with vitamin D uh, no, uh, iron deficiency. You ever, you ever poop out pee once? Oh, it's the I'm, worst. I'm sure if you shit urine, uh, you need to go see a doctor. I've done that like twice in my whole life. Holy shit. It's just piss rocketing out of my ass. It was awful. And it burns too because it's pee. Although I guess maybe it was it's probably it was it's probably stomach acid. There we go. Stun gun and a battery. The stun gun can knock over like insane cancers and you can get by them, but it doesn't hurt them. Yep. First year now you're out, Coda. Make up your mind. Why don't you come here, babe? That's right. Sit by my feet. I'll scratch you with my with my toes. <laughs> no? You just, wanna, you just wanna lick me? Oh, not the nipple! Ah, look, look to my nipple! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> what mm. the fuck, dude? I need to get an HR department for my streams, because my dog just licked my nipple. Who, who do I report <laughs> that to? Dude, put your shirt on, man. No, it's hot in here. Lower the temp. Well, you know, what I think it is is that... My, wait, hold on. My downstairs neighbors are almost never home. But I think they're home today and their heat's on and it's wafting up here. Yeah, yeah, shoot. Come on, Okay, I'm back. I think it's probably like 75 degrees in this house right now. I'd have to turn the AC on or start opening windows. Isn't it snowing down where you at right now? Well, no, I, I, my downstairs neighbors are home for the first time in like five years. It's a little Brothers. Asian couple and oh. they live in Florida. But like every now and then they come here and they sweep off their back porch and then they go back to Florida. I don't know why they do it. That is weird. Yeah, I was gonna figure if it's snowing up here where I'm at, it's gotta be snowing where you are right now. Oh yeah, it snowed last week. It's been snowing for like two days straight up here. Yeah, I kinda wanna kill myself. Alright guys, I'm gonna inches. I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna go take a dump. <laughs> I'll be right back. Please close the door. Uh Sebastian, I leave the floor to you if you have anything to say. Now it's time to do it. Talk shit behind my back. I don't care, I gotta take a dump. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard, and he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it.
You clearly haven't been here all day, video games, so we're just gonna have to remind you that Heather is a dirty, filthy thought. It started raining. Are you sleeping? I'm awake. Uh, Cold? Empty Hero, I think the last time I streamed, or no. I think the first couple times I was What's streaming, deal, uh, Snatcher, uh, fucking MT, nice MT was fucking me during that stream. He was raping my ears with now, terrible fucking I'm stories back. about... Hello, how you doing? <laughs> so it is, I was saying, MT was raping my ears with terrible stories about his sex life. Once, on a missing person's what? case. Yes, I got the vest, but yes. The, I mean, very uh, sure. That's one screw Wait, up are you talking to me or are you talking about what? I was talking about, yes, I, you, oh. I don't know if I got the bulletproof vest. You hear a oh, lot yeah. of nasty rumors. Yeah, it's really hard to beat that last boss without it. I was born and raised there. Especially on the harder difficulties, if you don't have a bullet Sorry. multiplier. I didn't mean to offend you. A what multiplier? Bullet <laughs> multiplier. Every time you beat a Silent Hill game, and you do a new game, you can have two, three, four, t six times, you know bullet amount for every time you pick it up. So instead of giving like five, you get ten or fifteen or twenty. Anyway, oh, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. Here, yeah, put your head on my lap. No, I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Oh, is that the coloring book from the first game where she draws Harry on the label? Terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to get a drink, now's the time to do it. This cutscene goes on for a while. She offered up hey, at least that's going on for 30 daughter. minutes. No, this is not a Hideo Kojima game. No, God. But it worked. That that finale for that fucking snatcher, I, I don't know if I told I was telling you about this, but like that shit lasted for like almost an hour and I just kinda I, I just kinda laid back and I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a while guys. And they just kinda stood there like wanting to kill themselves. Okay. Did you beat the game yet? Oh my earbud came out. Hold on. No, I I beat. she could make things happen with her mind. Coda, how did you get back in here? She could kill people. What the fuck are you doing? How'd you get in? I got a Viet Cong dog. She tunneled her way in somehow. That got was killed by a single person. But yeah, no, dude, I beat Snatcher. It's it's not a super long game. It's just uh, the you get a lot of padding during the end uh, after you go through the final map. Oh, do you have to get an untraceable car, a hundred thousand dollars, and a government ID for the guy? No. Okay, that was read-only memories. No, all you have to do is look at how the snatcher process is made, then go through the back door, fight two battles that make me want to blow my fucking brains out, and uh, and then go listen to an old man ramble on about how he got cucked by uh by your by your character. Oh, so it was your fault all along. Yeah, technically it was. <laughs> she was holding a baby in her arms. I always like any story that begins with somebody getting laid and ends with everybody dying. Because she died. I am serious about the cucking, though. She like, the, apparently the, the old guy father. was like, yeah, uh, I was in love with this one chick, and then you came along, and then he points to Gillian, and he's like, and you, you married her, and you had a child. With your... I was upset. Your Guido slicked back you hair and your, like your olive oil voice. I've had women on every cunt country on this planet, and she was the best I ever had. A man in my position can't be afford to be made a fool of. It's Godfather quotes. I really butchered it though. What's really sad is that I was pretty was so accurate sudden. because he wanted to like take over the world with snatchers because he got cooked. If I can't get that snatch, I'll no have the win. snatchers instead. I never had a chance. Yo, man, you, you almost had like a hundred people watching the stream. To tell you <laughs> okay. Happy you no, made seriously. Me. Well, we've had over today. We had like 110. Oh. I've had a couple of streams with like 300 people watching. I, I get a lot more when I do the um, the Japanese okay. trolling streams. But those are so hit and miss. I can't predict when they're actually going to show up and play along. You know. 
Oh yeah. You know it'd be really fucking nice if we had like, I don't know, Medicare's number of people, but then again, everyone would be fucking drowned out by like people screaming in the fucking chat. Somebody head for that Leonard guy's house. Uh, I don't think anybody gets Medicare's numbers you but Medicare. Yeah. Hey, good for it's him. Not, he's like the one guy who's not a shithead. I know you don't like him that much. I think he's oh, a no, funny guy. Not, no, I didn't say I didn't him like him. I just don't really care for the streams. Either. I prefer his oh, okay. videos over the stream. Oh, yeah, me too. Are yeah. you sure it's not you who's a No, I fucking love Medicare. Uh, oddly, crazy. Art, I, uh, maybe I'll pick up more Nico right. Nico stuff next year. YouTube doesn't like when I do them and they usually delete my videos. I got very lucky that I still have them up. Fifty something years old. Generally, when my uh, like when my empty heroes English lessons for Japanese girls video hits a hundred thousand views, YouTube deletes it the same day it gets its one hundred thousandth view. So maybe after that happens for the fourth yeah. time, I think it is. I uh, I'll kind of combine all the videos into one, re-upload it, and then start making more. Okay. Right. Okay, too negative. That's okay, uh, you know, it's the sincerest form of flattery uh, besides oral sex. So I'm okay with that. You eat ass? No wonder no, you got eating, a shit-eating grin. Eating ass isn't, isn't a sincere form of flattery. It's a sincere form of flatulence. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, but seriously, don't eat a girl's ass. Yeah, I don't. That's that's Cause gross. Because her her pussy's next to it, and that's gross. Yuck, yucky. <laughs> yeah, man, pussies are stanky and gross. You're better off just like sucking dick. At least it's much cleaner. <laughs> I wasn't gonna go there, but okay. That's what you have me here for. Oh, hey, we are in the same uh, apartment complex from Silent Hill One. We are actually in Silent Hill. This is probably the most straightforward of all the Silent Hill games. You, you mostly just go from one location to another. Although I guess 4 has no exteriors where you can free roam. But there's very little tours of Silent Hill in this game. Mostly because you've already gone through most of the town. Although Zero did a really good job of adding new stuff to Silent Hill. Oh yeah, video games. That's why that video is is now getting uh, close to a hundred thousand views again. Yeah, uh, PewDiePie he he did a "You Laugh You Lose" challenge with one of my videos, the uh, English lessons for Japanese girls, and then a couple days later, a bunch of Spanish PewDiePie knockoffs did it. Guys who all have like thirty million views, but I sent PewDiePie a PM asking him to link to my original video, and he did, and that's why I'm getting views. And the Spanish guys did. And I did kind of consider giving those cocksuckers a DMCA, but I thought about it and just went, eh, do I want that guy sticking a million spicks on me? Eh, probably not. Yeah, that'd probably be a bad idea. Oh, up here, this is where, um, where Harry and Mary are chilling out right now. <laughs> I don't think you can go that way, though. What, uh, what video was it that PewDiePie did that? Like, how long ago was it? That was Empty Heroes English Lessons for Japanese Girls. This uh, is probably the fifth time, the fourth or the fifth time I've re-uploaded that same video. Because YouTube always deletes it when it gets 100,000 views. And that was maybe this time last year. It went from having like 2,000 views to having like, I think it's got like 70,000 right now. I haven't looked at it in a while. No, no, no. I was asking when did PewDiePie make that video? Oh, his one. Yeah, this time last year. I had just started the job I'm in now, and I, so it was either this time last year or maybe a month after this, maybe December at the latest. Okay, Gakko, the video is, uh, You Laugh, You Lose, number 009 by PewDiePie. At first, he doesn't know what to make of it, but then he gets to the I traded my chin for rice line and he loses his shit, and he's, I, I think, officially along for the ride at that point. But it's a really chopped up, bastardized version of my video that cuts out the, uh, the water remarks, so to speak. Well, also that it identifies also, it as mine. It also kind of keeps, uh, I imagine he chopped out the stuff that he couldn't really put on his channel for obvious reasons. Yeah. 
Ooh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? And why don't I have a gun? I have no gun equipped. Uh, Beaker Sneaker, I've attempted to emulate Silent Hill Shattered Memories. But that's a, a real CPU intensive game, I guess. Because I have a really nice GPU, but I couldn't get it to run. I couldn't get Silent Hill Zero to run for some reason. I don't know, maybe I should have tried to emulate the PSP version. My PSP emulator is, is just amazing. game? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? You know my tra my a tranny and you're standing behind me right now. Okay. Well, while you're back there, just lovingly caress my balls with the back. No, not the back. With the with your kneecap. Now, like, don't, like, knee it. Just, like, like caress it. Maybe, maybe turn around and fart into my butthole. And we'll fart back and forward. And we'll kind of make it a vintage fart. We'll age it by moving it so much. That's how you know when you're really in love. Oh, and here's uh, Heaven's Night, where Mary strips when she's not busy being a, a a desire demon or whatever. Can I even get in there? I don't think I can. Alright, I, I actually looked at the, Ooh, uh, I got in. the video, saw the clip, and it's, uh, it's kind of low energy for him, I think. Well, it's a fucking you laugh, you lose video. That's like the laziest shit. Yeah. God damn it, Felix. Start, I don't mind, though. Start making something funny. Got me like 60,000 views for nothing. Oh, yeah. But did you get any subscribers through that? No, I really wish he'd used the version that had Empty Hero on it. That's, that's that why nice. when I did that video, I put Empty Hero in the corner. Because those videos keep getting deleted and people keep re-uploading them. Bullshit. Hey, can I make her sniff the pole? Hey, get up there and get to work, bitch. Ugh. Ooh, don't report the stream for nudity, okay, guys? It doesn't count. It's only neon lights. Alright, I knew something was coming because I'm getting slowed down. Oh, hey, I think I can turn the fog off with F2. Okay. I'll put that back on in a second. Or something? Oh, I'm oh, fucking with the, uh, the debug stuff. Oh, shit. Live stream pooping. Oh, is it? Alright, let uh, me get out oh, of this okay. area. Yeah, it's just because this area has a lot of effects going on. I was trying to turn the fog off, but it didn't quite work. Yeah, okay, it's working now. Yeah. Fucking fog world, man. I'm, I'm less worried about the monsters coming out of it, and more worried about the fact that this stream's gonna fucking die. Well, you know, later on, when I have to go on the streets again, it'll be night. So you'll be seeing a lot less of anything. No, I hear a bubble nurse, I don't see it. There she is. Hold on. Let me uh, try my mall out on this spot. Although I think they respawn in this game. They're... Oh shit! No! Hot oh, damn it! There's two of them. Do you think sounds from the bubble nurse is is the bubbles coming out of her vagina? 
I know it refers to their big bubble heads. Oh man, I am so dead. Indeed. Yeah, fuck this mall. This thing sucks. Don't you wish you had a big knife? Uh, yeah, I, I, you can get that in Silent Hill too. You can get a Pyramid Head's knife. Well, yeah, you can. Um, oh, wait, oh, here we I go. Mean, there's Vatiel. Gonna go pull a baby out of your womb. No big deal. Oh, and her dead body's still holding them all. Nice. Yes, Chaos Kami, those big, throbbing, protruding heads. Very disrespectful. <laughs> they look disgusting. I really don't like the sound they make. It's so fucking unnerving. And I don't think killing them really gets rid of them. They just come back the next time you enter the room. It sounds like every time they take a step, like, there's, there's a loud squish coming from their vagina. Well, that audio track is called Oncotesteroids, which is kind of a, a medicine, I think, for people with lung problems. Oof. I swear to God, this this fucking piss boy eggs. I blame fucking uh, Rope Man <laughs> for showing me this garb. Well, you just said, showed such zeal and enthusiasm for the pea eggs. It wasn't even enthusiasm. I'm sitting there with, like, my face going, why the fuck? It, how is this real? I mean, it. I, I'm not surprised anymore at this point with China, but still. How can our eyes be real if the piss eggs aren't real? Oh, is she running? I wish the piss eggs weren't real. I wish that was just a joke. I've never seen one of them run like that. I've played this game like 20 times. That's crazy. They can't run? What the fuck? Are you just shooting in her ass? Yes. That's probably why she's running. I'd run too if you were putting bullets in my butt. I'm gonna reset. Oh, damn. I was gonna reset her position. But I got hit. They got me. And I still don't have a map. Oh, that's so annoying. Ooh, and I'm close to death. Let me use that. There we go. I figure, don't ampules, um... Don't they, they like, make heal. you... Well, I know that, but don't they make you, like, invincible for a minute? Uh, not that I know of. Because a first aid kit will heal you completely right away. Uh, I know health drinks are like a little bit of health, uh, first aid kits are a decent amount, and like ampules are like full, full restore. Alright, now the problem with this area is the nurses respawn. <laughs> and, uh, man, they can just fuck you over. So I'm gonna abuse this shit out of my auto saves and quick saves and all that stuff. Yeah, see that room? Fuck that room. That's a room with, I think, maybe something in it, maybe. So I'm gonna bring out my shotgun and give it a shot. <laughs> uh, quite a few shots, actually. It's right in the cunt. There you go. That third one's gonna get up before I can get it, though. Oh no, the first one did. Damn. Yeah, was there even anything in here after all that? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here. You yeah, fuck this room so much. I knew that room was bullshit. Why didn't even bother with it? 
Curiosity. What am I, a cat? I don't think so. I'm not a cat. I'm a human being. Okay, this is the room with the stuff stuck to the wall with cum. I gotta come back with, um, I think, paint thinner or something, right? To get the key? Paint thinner for semen? Yeah. What? You, you don't huff paint thinner, thinner when you're you're beating off? Make your cum shoot out quicker? Will you? Uh, if you at me with that, I'm just gonna kick you. That's, that's gonna be, like, stupidly annoying. Oh, what, uh, was that Chris Roydfield? He say something that nice? Nah, fucking Viddy being autistic again. Ah, uh, he means well. I know, but still, he a good boy. I, I don't want to hear all these dings. I swear to God, TCS, I see that typing. I see that typing. I'll, I'll do it. I, I won't, but I'm. I love you too much. You like my buddy. This day has finally come, that's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. You're the one I've been waiting for. It, there's a crazy guy who... He wants to meet Heather, but you never meet the guy. Although I do think you talked to him on the phone at one point. There's a phone that functions in silent huh? Yeah, when <laughs> when it's convenient for the plot, sure. Oh, I guess so. All right. So that a crazy guy can call you and say weird shit to you, sure, why not? Oh, how'd that hit me? Fuck you. Fucking bitch. Oh. There's no way that should have hit me. I backed up. All right, my map should be in here somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, where are they? Heck, am I supposed to go? I guess maybe the uh, elevator. Yeah, I got to get the thinner or whatever I used to get that thing out of C four, and I haven't checked the ladies' room. Or the back door to this examining room, the day room, or the elevator. Okay. Have you tried going down to the basement floor? Uh, I, I guess like I could do that from the elevator. Wait, well, don't they have stairs? I just wondering. Dude. Uh, again, well, I can't get to these stairs because that door's locked. That's yeah. the door. That's the key in C4, I think. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm looking. I'm, I'm mistaking the fucking red line for... You, you know, oh. a, a, a scribble means it's locked and you can't get through, and a red line means that it's, it's locked, locked and you can try again can. later. Maybe the day room. No, I got to the elevator. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is one of those levels where you have to do everything twice because it it becomes, oh no, ooga booga, rusty bullshit mode halfway through. So by the time it's done, we will all be very acquainted with the layout of this place. Especially this hall, because there's going to be a million sniffers and nurses popping up over here at one point. Oh man, I imagine, annoying. I imagine the nurses are a little more problematic than the sniffers. No, you know what? The nurses get guns, and they can shoot you from across the map, but the sniffers knock you down and allow everybody to pile up on you while, while you're on the floor. Oof. So I'm going to be dropping beef jerky. Oh, there I, I got my uh, nail polish remover. That's what I needed. And some perfume. What the f I don't remember the perfume. What? Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's trying to tell you... Maybe the game's trying to tell you to stop smelling like poopy. Sprayed on her cunt. No masks. Oh, you equip somewhat. it. Okay. Um, I think. 
I think that makes you actually easier to spot by enemies if you put that on. I'm not really sure. That's an equipable item. That's weird. Why would you want to be easier to spot? Well, it might it act, might actually mask your smell, but I'm th thinking it might actually be the opposite. It might be a trap. Alright, so I'm supposed to go all the way back down and go to C4, but first, let's see if I can go in any of these doors over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, equipping it will attract monsters, particularly nurses, uh, in greater numbers. Uh, let's yeah. see. It, 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 while seemingly useless, it can be helpful for those who wish to achieve a 10-star ranking or to obtain a heather beam, as both require a certain number of monsters to be killed. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to bother with that. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay. I was thinking that would be a, a clue for something, but it's not. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it might be the clue. Let's take another look. Okay. So, two eyes. Left oh. hand. Oh, what? I, I just learned a thing. So remember when you were having that dream uh, and you were in Lakeside? Yeah, dude, I know what happens. <laughs> I've beaten this a million times. I, I know, I know, but you could have just ended the dream early by falling down the hole. Oh, yeah, I know. But it, it's more uh, entertaining. I'm not doing a speed run. I wasn't saying anything about speed run, but... Oh, okay. You should speed run Silent Hill. <laughs> no, fuck that. You know what? Silent Hill and Resident Evil are pretty bad games for speedrunning because it just it boils down to run to the left of enemies. There's almost no tech in those. They're really boring to watch. That's true. That's why they do stuff like no damage runs to try to mix it up and make it at least a little bit interesting. What do I think about Benito Mussolini and Hitler? Eh, you know, they tried to do something good. It didn't work out. Nobody's perfect. Gave it the old college try. And as a fellow paisano, you know, I got a little soft spot for Benito. And I'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm half German too. All I need is to be a third Japanese and I'd have all the bad guys from World War II. Thoughts on uh, Review Tech USA? I know nothing about them. I, all I know is I got a beef with some blood sports person recently. Is, I, I know none of the details. Isn't Review Tech USA like that guy that babbles about computers and shit? Oh, I'd assume that from the name, yeah. 